Regulators, filters, fueling champions. Larice Motorsports Insurance, four generations in the insurance business and over 30 years in motorsports, offering package policy for all your valuable racing equipment, on the road or at the track. Be a winner with Larice Motorsports Insurance. Go to Facebook today. Get a quote from Larice Motorsports Insurance. and welcome to beautiful Belle Rose, Louisiana. All righty, we are here in day two of the, the 11th annual Flickr Promotion Southern Big Buck Nationals presented by, no, powered by the Hose Connection, Inc. All righty, we are here doing the, okay, the forecast looked, you know, really, really grim. We didn't even know if it was going to happen this weekend. But the people here at Flickr, as well as the people at Belrose, assured us that we would get this whole thing in, and looks like it's going to happen. Okay, we have today the Mosier Engineering 20K combined with Rick's Powder Coating 5K today. Okay, so we'll have a 25K. How about that? 
Uh, then we also, they combined Saturday and Sunday's junior race. Instead of racing for 500 each, they'll be racing for 1,000 today. And then we've got the Fuel Tech Raging Cajun Gambler race tonight. At, uh, they'll be racing for 4K. Okay. Okay, okay. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you to Johnny Izzell and his beautiful bride, Madison, uh, for bringing us in. And uh, so Izzell Race Cars, uh, and then they were joined by Larice Motorsports Insurance and Fuel Tech uh, to keep us completely free to you, the viewer. Now, if anybody tries to charge you for this feed, you know, just give them the old raspberry because this feed is completely free thanks to Ezel Race Cars, Larice Motorsports Insurance, and Fuel Tech. Okay, uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, uh, congratulations goes out. Last night's winner. Okay, let's see here. I know we got it here. Well, first off, we had um, Wyatt Ezel. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay, Wyatt Ezel took the foot brake, he, or the no box. Okay, now y'all know the difference between no box and foot brake. My understanding is not quite as good. They're doing new entry time runs right now, so. Uh, no box is trans brakes. Trans brakes, etc., etc. He's going to explain it, but I'm not going to. Okay, <laughs> so anyway. So uh, congratulations to Wyatt Ezel for his victory in, in taking the environmental oil no box uh, win last night. And then uh, we had Hunter Patton. Hang on here. Why is this? It's doing it correctly. I'm just not. <laughs> anyway, Hunter Patton uh, with his matchup against Dylan Rollinson. Rollinson? Uh, he's a up and coming oh my goodness Dylan is but Hunter Patton took that win uh, when Dylan read lit I know today he's gonna be a little bit he says he's gonna dial the box in a little differently today for this lane anyway I don't know you know that's all those techniques and then we had uh, the Friday Night Fights, which, uh, let's see, we had the No Box uh, Fight, which was, that was the scheduled event. Um, and we had Mitchell Seymour against Danny Paul. And Mitchell was able to pull that one out. Good racing, really good racing. Look at that. Okay, and then we added on the top bulb uh, Friday night fight. And uh, we had Derek Patton against Donnie Burleson. So it was a door car and a dragster. And as we have seen so many times here at No Problem, Donnie Burleson pulled that one off. Even though it was the orange car, not the gold car. I mean, he kind of throws me because I'm used to the gold car. But, uh, it, yeah. So, anyway, but Burleson is also uh, sponsoring the juniors today. Okay, I'm going to go back on track now. Uh, and we can watch whatever... Um, whatever uh, time runs may be left and it looks like they're about done and then we're going to go into round one then we'll do junior time runs and then round one of juniors okay uh, so we got a action-packed day I hope you're ready I hope you're ready for a full day of racing because we are
And we are officially live on Motor Mania for Mosher Engineering and Rick's Powder Coating $25,000 Saturday. As we uh, have no box in the staging lanes for Mosher Engineering round number one. So once again, final call, final call for no box class N. Final call for no box class N. Round number one, we need you to stage lanes, please. No box class N. We need you to stage lanes one and two, please. Once again, absolute last and final call. Absolute last and final call for no box, round number one. Absolute last and final call for no box, class N, round number one of eliminations. No box. Looks like we're a few of you short. And we need you to the staging lanes now, please. Staging lanes one and two. No box, we need you now.
All right, getting ready to get started with Mosier and Rick's Power Coating Saturday, $25,000 on the line. Before we do so, we ask everyone to please stand and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we need door car, class A, door car, class A, to steady lanes five and six, door car, class A. We need you to the lanes for round number one of eliminations to steady lanes five and six. Once again, Bruce White, car 183A, car number 183A. You are the wait and see by for round number one of eliminations on the top bulb side. You will run at the conclusion of Class C. But at this time, we need Class A door cars to state lanes five and six for round number one of eliminations, please. No box on the starting line now. Your first pair out, left-hand side, Charlie Lockhart. Dialed 567, taking on J.J. Cook, right side, dialed 553. Charlie Lockhart, 028, and one above nine, Cook, 044, and two above, no good. Lockhart, 28, take 19 to kick off the day. On the starting line now, this is going to be a good one. Left side, Benny Gossett, dialed 548. 
in the Roadster, taking on Lucas Walker, right side, now 587 in the Mustang. shooting for the stars and going to turn on the wind line 028 and 3 thou under as Gossett is 015 red and 3 above no good. Lucas might have did a little bit bigger wheelie than he expected this morning. Autumn's walking back shaking her head probably trying to figure out what he was thinking on the starting line left side JD McNeil dialed 671 taking on David Latino right side dialed 661 And the wind line gonna go to JD McNeil, 0 13 and three above. Take 26 out the finish line. Latino is late and one above, no good. Stuart Olin left side, 664 the dial, taking on Chad Sandlin, right side dial, 623. One dial, separate them. Win light, Chad Sandlin, 032, and one above nine, take 10 thou with the finish line. Olin is 031 and three above, cannot get there, no good. Chad Sandlin to round two. Jason England left side, 564 in the Vox body. Taking on Wyatt Ezel, yesterday's Environmental Oil Services No Box winner. Dialed 604 in the Nova. Win light, Jason England, 013, and one above nine as Ezel is red and a whole bunch under. 593 on the 604. That'll bring up Kenneth Perkins, left side, 688 the dial, taking on Jay Landry, right side dial, 632. I've been told that Bucky has gotten himself a set of tires as yesterday went on to runner up the Environmental Oil Services No Box. And maybe that set of tires will get him that one final wind light that he needs. And he's gonna have to do it by going through the re-entry round as Landry is gonna move on. Late and five under, Perkins is red. And three above, no good. Jeremiah Butler, left side, 625 the dial, take on Jed Landry, right side, dial 615. And the wind line gonna go to Butler, 045. And one above. Landry is red and 26 thou under no good. Greg Clark, left side, 620 the dial, taking on Audi Romero, right side dial, 612. Clark in full control. And the win line, Greg Clark, 003 and six above. 
take a bunch. Romero is late. And a tenth above, no good. Mitchell Seymour, left side, 6.55 the dial, taking on Michael Bryant, right side dialed, 6.24. Mitchell Seymour was your Friday night no box fight winner last night, the 32 car no box shootout. Four fouls separate them up front. Win light, Mitchell Seymour, 016 and one above. Get there. Air, triple zero one margin of victory. One ten foul. Sixteen take nothing. Round one. Bryant is 0 20 up front and dead on eight. No good. Mitchell Seymour to round number two. Class A, we need you to the staging lanes now, please. Five fifty in the roadster, taking on Nick Curl right side, dialed five seventy three in the door car. This is another heater of a matchup. These two guys come off the bottom; they're two of the best that do it in the country. Nick Curl, 018 and four above. Gossett missed it and puts it one above, no good. So once again, waiting on a couple of our doubles to come back. I believe we have one more coming back. I believe we're waiting on Charlie. Class A. If you're not here, you're late. Oh, and Charlie was under the tower and I didn't even know it. So here is your final pair of Environmental Oil Services No Box round number one presented by Mosier Engineering.
Left hand side, Charlie Lockhart dialed 567, taking on JD McNeil, right side dialed 672. One thou separate them on front. Wind light says JD McNeil 022 and one above six. Take 29th out finish line. Charlie 023 and four above. No good. Cannot cover the number. So that's going to wrap up round number one of Environmental Oil Services No Box. Now moving into the top bulb side. First pair of door cars pulling in the water. Your first pair out, left hand side, Derek Patton dialed 671, taking on Larry Webb, right side dialed 506. And one above, two above seven, I'm sorry. 30 total. Take 34th out at the finish line. Larry Webb is 026 and three above, no good. Derek Patton will have one entry into round two. Mad Max McLaughlin left side, 596, taking on Chris Culkins, right side dialed 547. Seven. Calkins is double O one red and puts it 17 thou under. Max McLaughlin to round two. Jeff Benham left side, 567. Taking on Paul Ratliff, right side dialed 605. is 013 and two above no good gets 13 thou behind Paul Ratliff to round two Danny Paul now left side 597 the dial taking on Garen Rott right side dial 625 Paul with the wind light, 017 and 8 above. Take 003 at the finish line. Rot is late. 
and a bunch above, no good. Jason England, left side, 565, taking on Rick Huffman, right side, in smalls, dialed 621. England is red and three thou under no good. Bruce White, left hand side, dialed 623. Taking on Jeff Lundy, right side, dialed 569. Bruce White going to move on with that entry. 010 and one about three. Lundy is 001 red. And a bunch of. Wesley Fowler, left side, 556. Taking on Gabe Eno, right side, dialed 608. Wesley Fowler are going to move on. 020 and three above. Take 13th out finish line. Eno is 047 and one above seven. No good. Dragster Class B, you are on standby. Dragster Class B, you are on standby. Dragster Class B, you are on standby. Class A door cars. Ron and Adias, if you. Our Class A door car, and you have not come up to the lanes, we need you to the lanes immediately, please. Eric Sandlin, left side, 616, the dial, taking on Shallon Broussard, right side, dial, 622.
Takes it to above. Bouchard is 005 red and dead on five. No good. Eric Sandlin, two round two. Steven Hughes left side, 562, taking on Cody Parker, right side held, 562. is red and one above no good. Travis Barnett left side, the fastest door car on property, dialed 480, taking on Logan Diggs, right side dialed 611. Travis Barnett, 019, dead four, 23 total. Diggs, seven, take 28. To be 22 thou under the dial. I'm sorry, 12 thou under the dial. Needed to take 16 or less. Glenn Dilday, left side, 531 the dial, taking on Wes Neely, right side dial, 579. Kyle Lindsay left side, 649, taking on David Latino, right side dialed 539. And at this time, we will take Dragster B, Dragster Class B. We will take you to center lanes 7 and 8, please. Dragster Class B, we will take you to center lane 7 and 8, please, for first round of eliminations. Dragster Class B. We need you now to center lane 7 and 8, please. Wind light, David Latino, 013 and 4 above. Left side, 587 the dial, driver not on file, taking on David Hammonds, right side dialed 657. Separate them up front, and the wind line says David Hammonds, 001 and 3 above, take 009 at the finish line, left side. 009 and 3 above, no good. David Hammonds, 1 take 9 to round 2. Greg Clark, left side, 623, taking on Ronald Gabriel. Right hand side, dialed 620. Once again, I need Dragster Class B. Dragster Class B, I need you to stay to lane 7 and 8, please. Dragster Class B, need you to stay to lane 7 and 8, please. Dragster Class B, need you now to stay to lane 7 and 8, please.
There's wind light going to Greg Clark there in the left hand side. Once again, I need Class B Dragster. Class B Dragster, I need you to stay in lane 7 and 8, please. Class B Dragster, I need you to stay in lane 7 and 8, please. Class B Dragster, we need you now. Do 7 and 8, please. And here we go, Brian Kennedy left side, 495. Taking on Nick Curl, right side, dialed 574. Twenty-three thou under the dial. Curl is late. And five hun under no good. Josh Decker left side, six twenty-one. Taking on Hunter Whitehead, right side dialed six fifty-eight.
That'll separate him up front. And Hunter Whitehead with the win, 018, and one above five, take 006 at the finish line. Decker is 020, and one above nine, no good. So I believe that will wrap up door car class A, round number one. Do a quick track touch up, and then we are going to be moving into Dragster B. Welding, pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. Larice Motorsports Insurance, four generations in the insurance business and over 30 years in motorsports, offering package policy for all your valuable racing equipment, on the road or at the track. Be a winner with Larice Motorsports Insurance. Go to Facebook today. Get a quote from Larice Motorsports Insurance. We drive people. We drive bracket racing. Because reliability, accuracy, and consistency is what goes round and wins races. An all-in-one solution tailored to your application. Walk the pits and you'll begin to see fuel tech everywhere. First pair of dragster class B, left-hand side, last night's main event runner-up, Dylan Rollinson dialed 509, taking on Mariah Murray, right side dialed 485. is late and seven above no good. Gonna bring up Ty Farmer out of Tuscola, Texas. Dialed 480, taking on Chase Ty, Chase Murray. Out of Orange, Texas. Right hand side dialed 485. Chase Murray, 0 10 and 3 above, take 51 thou at the finish line. Farmer, 17 and stops to be 7 above. No good. Hunter Patton, left side, 450 the dial, taking on Jeremy Smith, right side out, 483. Funny Wayne, of course, was last night's $20,000 main event champion on Mosier Engineering Friday. 
Gonna try and double it up today on Mosier Engineering and Rick's Powder Coating $25,000 Saturday. Smith is late and six above, no good. John Angel, left side, dialed 444. Taking on Heath Phillips, right side, dialed 453. Final call, absolute last and final call for Class B Dragster. Absolute last and final call for Class B Dragster. We need you to the state of lanes, please. Final call for Class B Dragster. Angel O10 and one of the three going to move on. Phillips is red and five thousand. Billy Compton, left side, 476 to the dial, taking on Brittany Lejeune, right side, dialed 480. and one above two, take 10 thou with finish line. Compton is 013 and two above, no good. Brittany Lejeune to round two. Left hand side, Slate Cummins out 432. Take on Tristan Joel, right side out at 482. Either one light to shoulder. Late. And seven above. Get their 18 foul. Left hand side. 18 and seven above, no good. Tori Collier, left side, 457. Taking on Kyle Cunningham, right side out 479. Being told, I believe that that was not Slate. I believe that may or may not have been Coy Cogger. Not 100% sure on the last one in the left lane there. And five above, no good.
Corey Galitti, left hand side, 432. Taking on driver not on file, right hand side, dialed 474. get their 004 to be one above with a two. Galetti is 016 and two above three, no good. Jake Hodge left side, 446, taking on Jordan Epper Jesse, right side held 429. At this time, we'll take C Run Sicker Door Car, C Class Door Car. We will take you to stair lanes five and six, please. C Class Door Cars, we will take you to lanes five and six, please. C Door Cars, we will take you now to lanes five and six, please. Amber Jesse with a win line, 020. Under the dial, Hodge is red. And 24th hour under. Bubba Stevenson left side, 465. Taking on Talon Farmer, right side, dialed 470. Once again, we need C-Class door car, C-Class door car to the state of lanes, please. C-Class door car, we will take you to lanes five and six, please. C-Class door car, we will take you to lanes five and six, please. Wind light, Bubba Stevenson, 017 and four above, Farmer is 010 and six above no good. Bruce White, you are still on the wait and see by. We will run at the tail end of C Dragster. Bruce Farmer, you are still on the wait and see by. You are going to run at the tail end of C Dragster. So once again, we need C door car, C class door car. Two lanes five and six, please. C class door car, we need you to lanes five and six, please. And one above one, no good. Coy call your left side, four fifty nine, taking on Chris Jones, right side dialed. 467. going to go to Collier, 014, and 27th out under. Boy Baby is red and dead on nine. Perry Como, left side, dialed 445. Taking on Danny McCormick, right side, dialed 507.
tile under McCormick is red and one above no good. Jake Levitino, left side, 457, taking on Glenn Dilday, right side, out 483. Nine thousand separated. Now, Levitino, 005, and six above, Dilday. 14, take 88. To be 28 thou under the dial. Taylor Holland, left side, 438, taking on Bart Nelson, right side, dial 472. Once again, we need C-Class Door Car. C-Class Door Car to Shader Lanes 5 and 6, please. C-Class Door Car, we will take you to Shader Lanes 5 and 6, please. C-Class Door Car, we need you to the Shader Lanes 5 and 6, please. Taylor Holland, three dead nine, 12 total, takes seven thousand finish line. Nelson, 13 dead six, 19 total, and in the way. Taylor Holland, two round two. Spencer Massey, left side, 471, taking on Austin Free, little drag champ, right side, out 483. Austin let old dad Gary take the entry for yesterday. And they were done for the night after the uh, buyback round, I believe. So Austin going to take over the driving duties for the rest of the day today. But he looks over and he's got Spencer Massey. Gary Don needs to let Austin drive more often. 010 and one above five. Take 30,000 finish line. Massey is late. And one above five, no good. Austin free to round two. Nate Dog, Nathan Martin, left side, 453. Taking on Kurt Harvey, right side, Dow, 472. to Nathan Martin, 012, and one above zero, take 001 at the finish line. Harvey is 015, dead 722 total, and it comes up one bow short. Eight dog to round two. Lane Como, left side, 460, taking on Mario Gonzalez, right side, dialed 454.
six thou under no good. Bruce Holland left side, 435, taking on Donnie B. Donnie Burleson, right side dog, 447. Once again, we need C class door car. C class door car, we need you to lanes five and six, please. C class door car, we need you to lanes five and six. C door car, we need you to lanes five and six. Wind light, Donnie B, 005, and one above zero, take three thou at the finish line to move on. Slate Cummins, left side, 430 the dial, taking on Turbo Ty Casey, right side dial, 472. start 002 red and then on one turbo is 003 red and seven thou under final call absolute last and final call for c run sticker door car c class door car last and final call you should be in the lanes final call for c class door car you should be in the lane c dragster you be on high alert c dragster on high alert Sugar Shane, Shane Carr, left side, 443, taking on David Hammonds, right side, dialed 657. Double red light start, hands the wind to Shane Carr. 015 red, and dead on five. Hammonds is 005 red, but left first. And puts it to above. At this time, we need C run sticker dragster. C run sticker dragster. We need you to lane seven and eight, please. C run sticker dragsters. We need you back to seven and eight, please. C run sticker dragster. We need you to seven and eight. Isaac Hill, left side, 607 the dial, taking on Rick Huffman, right side, dialed 629. Three thou, separate them up front. And we're not going to go to Huffman, 018, dead on three, 21 total. Take 21 thou at the finish line. Hill is 015 and two above, no good. Derek Patton, left side, 671, taking on Travis Barnett, right side, dialed 479.
Once again, I need C-Class Dragster, C-Class Dragster. Seven, eight, seven, and eight. C Dragster, we need you to seven and eight. Double enter Dragsters, you should be back to the lanes in seven and eight, please. C Dragster, we need you to seven and eight. Winlight, Travis Barnett, 019, and two above, Patton is 003 red. And 672. Max McLaughlin, left side, 598, taking on Wes Neely, right side, dialed 582. I'm going to move on, 003. And puts a 12th dial under the dial. Neely is 001 red. And 3 hun under. Brian Kennedy left side, 560 the dial. Taking on driver not on file, right hand side dial, 563. Once again, C Dragster, C Dragster, we need you back to the lanes. C Dragster, we need you back to the city lanes, please. C Run Sticker Dragster, C Class Dragster, we need you back to seven and eight, please. When I right hand side, 010 and dead on 717 total, Kennedy. 034 and mathematically ineligible puts it dead on eight, no good. Jeff Benham left side, 567, taking on Shallon Broussard, right side dialed, 623. Finish line, Broussard, 051, dead zero. No good. <laughs> Jeff Benham to round two. TJ Pruitt, left side. Mr. Drag coverage himself, 644. Taking on Gage Eno, right side, out 608. Going to go to Eno, 022, and one above one. Get there, 44 thou at the finish line. Pruitt, 014, and six above, no good. And TJ was very impressed by the Lazy Gator Bar and Grill downstairs yesterday afternoon. I know he was very excited that he could sit in the AC and enjoy a beverage or two. Once again, I need C-Class Dragster. C-Class Dragster. Need you back to the lanes, please. C-Class Dragsters, we need you to 7 and 8, please. C-Dragsters, we need you to 7 and 8, please. Junior Dragster, you are on standby. Junior Dragster, you are on standby.
Windlight going to go to Ty Farmer, left-hand side, 007 and dead on 7, 483 on the 483. Crew Garrett, right side, 014 up front. And had to be dead zero or better, puts it to above, no good. That's a tough one when you got to put it dead zero to have a chance. Pulling in the water box, left hand side, going to be John and Jill, dialed 444. Taking on Caden Smith, right side, dialed 478. Get their 12 thou as Angel is going to be kicking himself after that one. 039 had the scoop rocking and puts a five above to be 12 thou behind. Hunter Patton left side, 451. Taking on Brittany Lejeune, right side dialed 480. Hunter Patton, 009, and one above eight get their 10th out at the finish line. Lejeune, 014, and two above, no good. Left hand side, driver not on file, dialed 483, taking on Kyle Cunningham, right side, dialed 482. Dead zero, get their nine foul at the finish line. Left hand side, 020, and locked out. 483 with a four on the 482. I'm sorry, on the 483 there, it was dead on four. Jesse Marco, left side, 474, taking on Austin Free, little drag champ, right side, dialed 481. Forty-two and three thousand three is one red, dead four, no good. Jesse Marco to round two.
Coy Collier, left side, 459, taking on Bart Nelson, right side, dial 472. Collier, perfect triple zero up front and one above three, take double 07. Perfect, take seven. Bart Nelson, 014 up front. And not much he could do with that one. Perry Como, 445 left hand side. Talon Farmer, right side, 473. Puts it 19 thou under the dial. Como is 001 red and one above eight no good. Bowie Compton left side, 475, taking on Kurt Harvey right side dial, 472. Kurt Harvey moving on in the last pair. Bring up left-hand side, driver not on file, dialed 462, taking on Mario Gonzalez, right side, dialed 453. go left hand side 025 dead on seven take eight thousand finish line gonzalez 020 and two above no good Left hand side, Spencer Massey dialed 472, taking on Turbo Ty Casey, right side dialed 472. One line, Spencer Massey, double O-E, and one above zero. Casey missed it. And puts it two above, no good. Lane Como, left side, 459, taking on Jordan Epperjesse, right side, out 429.
Lane Como, 13, take four. Be dead on nine, Ever Jesse, 22, dead five, no good. Left hand side, 455 the dial. Driver not on file, taking on Chris Jones. Boy baby, right side dialed 468. Boy, baby, 024, dead on nine. Get their 10,000th finish line. Left hand side, 008, and three above, no good. Dylan Rollinson, left side, 509 the dial. Taking on Taylor Holland, right side, dialed 439. is red and 19 thou under. Shane Carr, left hand side, dialed 445. Chicka Shane taking on TJ Pruitt, right side dialed 644. with Hunter Patton and Donnie B winning yesterday. I know Kerry Carr told Shane that it better be his day today because Mama needs a new purse. And he is rolling into round number two, number six. And clicks it off early. Pruitt is 001 red and puts it 12 thou under no good. Bubba Stevenson, left side, 467, taking on Corey Galitti, right side, out 434. Fifteen thousand, and he's Galitti, wind light, Galitti, 008. Get behind a thou to be one above with a three. Stevenson, 022, and three thou under mathematically ineligible. Corey Galitti to round number two. Mike Crater, left side, 435, taking on Slate Cummins, right side, dialed 432. Take 006 to be two above Crater 033 and dead on eight, no good. Absolute last and final call, last and final call for any remaining C entries. All competitors have been called for first round. And actually, you're too late because a Byron's pulling into the water box. So with that, just uh, this pair and a Byron left, and we will wrap up 
Mosier Engineering round number one here on Mosier Engineering and Rick's Powder Coating Saturday. $25,000. Wind line right hand side, Donnie Burleson, 004, and in on two, six total. Left hand side is red and two above, no good. And here is your final car of Mosier Engineering round number one. Bruce White dialed 623 in the left hand side. White going to move on, 002 red and one above five. Larice Motorsports Insurance, four generations in the insurance business and over 30 years in motorsports, offering package policy for all your valuable racing equipment, on the road or at the track. Be a winner with Larice Motorsports Insurance. Go to Facebook today. Get a quote from Larice Motorsports Insurance. We drive tech. We drive the industry going beyond the limits and advancing forward. A versatile all-in-one solution. We're here for you every step of the way. And that's why you see Fuel Tech everywhere.
Once again, Junior Dragsters will take you to the lanes for your time run. Juniors will take you to the lanes for your time run. $1,000 to win our Burleson Construction Junior Dragsters. Also, while it is quiet, So obviously, the uh, forecast scared some people away. Um, we are still paying what we announced. It's still $25,000 win, 6,000 runner up. It's still 2,000 the semi, it's still $200 round money in our main event. But obviously we don't have a whole lot of interest in our Raging Cajun Gambler. That was supposed to take place this evening. That is getting scrapped in its place. We're putting in a top bulb shootout just like we did last night. 32 cars, five grand to win, 500 runner up, 250 to semi, $250 entry. So if you entered the Raging Cajun Gambler, that will, if you have a tab, it'll get taken off your tab immediately. If you paid cash, that will get refunded to you. If you would like in that 32 car shootout, you can go to registration and get in. We'll run that. We'll start mixing that in later in the program. But once again, our Fuel Tech Raging Cajun Gambler is scrapped for the weekend. And in its place, we'll have a Fuel Tech 32 car shootout identical to the one that we had last night. Also, free entries are available in registration, $150. Same buybacks you paid for 20 grand get you back in for $25,000 here today. We could have went up on the re-entry, we said no. There's a thank you to all of you that showed up here at No Problem Raceway. We appreciate each and every one of you Now, Final call, final call for Junior Dragsters. Final call for Junior Dragsters. We need you to seven and eight, please. Last and final call for Junior Dragster. One and only time trial to stadium lanes seven and eight, please. Final call, Juniors. We need you to the stadium lanes, please. Also, while it is quiet, your second round potential buys. On the no box side, Greg Clark, car 177N. You are the wait and see buy for second round of no box competition. And on the box side, car 223C, Koi Collier. You are the wait and see buy for round number two on the top bulb side. Car number 223C, Koi Collier on the top bulb side and car 177N, Greg Clark, on the Novak side. You guys are our wait and see buys for round number two of competition.
your Burleson Construction Junior Dragsters on the starting line for their one and only time trial session. Your first pair are going to be Easton Hodge and Slade Olin. East in the left-hand side, Slade Olin in the right.
So with that, that will wrap up the Burleson Construction Junior Dragster time trial session. And at this time, we need no box re-entry round. No box class N re-entry. No box re-entry. We need you. Two city lanes one and two, please. No box class N re-entry. We need you to city lanes one and two, please. Your wait and see by for the re-entry round on the Novak side is car number 143N, Michael Bryant. You are the wait and see by for the re-entry round on the Novak side. So once again, we need Novak Class N re-entry to State of Lanes 1 and 2. Michael Bryant, car 143N, you are the potential wait and see by for the Novak re-entry round. Louie Compton, courtesy of the fine folks at Get In Performance, you are the lucky dog here on Mosier Engineering. Round number one, your re-entry is paid by the fine folks at Get In Performance. Come see Madison up here in registration. Get your money back. Got a photo opportunity for you as well. So get in performance, Bowie Compton, you are the lucky dog, courtesy of the fine folks at Get In Performance. Your re-entry is paid for. Come see Madison up here in registration. And Marv's dad, Logan Diggs, you are the box wait and see bye here in the re-entry round. So Marv's dad is the Re-entry by run, if there is one in the top bulb category, we have called uh, Group N No Box for the re-entry round. If you lost and had to buy back in, that's for you. If you won round one, stay put.
absolute last and final call for any and all remaining no box re-entry round competitors got tenny is coming back appears we have seven in the shedding lane so missing three for the no box re-entry as we have called group n we will now also include group x in that so n and x no box re-entry you have been called to the lanes missing three for no box re-entry And here we go with no box re-entry round. Left hand side, Charlie Lockhart dialed 567. Taking on David Latino, right side dialed 661. This is your first pair of the Get Em Performance re-entry round. Gonna go to David Latino, 0 11 up front, dead on 9, 20 total. Get their 10 thou at the finish line. Lockhart is 009 and two above one, no good. David Latino gets back in. Benny Gossett, left side, 550 the dial. Taking on Wyatt Ezel, right side dial, 595. Separate him up front. Owen Light, Benny Gossett, 007 and 26 thou behind. Double breakout race puts it one thou under. Ezel is 003, take 26 to be 23 thou under. Bucky Perkins left side, 688. Taking on Jed Landry, right side, dialed 612. And Jed Landry getting a freebie into second round there as unfortunately Bucky having issues with the truck.
So once again, final, final, final call for any remaining no box re-entry round competitors. Last and final call for any remaining no box re-entry round competitors. So at this time, I need Class A door car re-entry. Class A door car re-entry to center lanes three and four, please. Class A door car re-entry round. We need you to center lanes three and four, please. Class A door cars, we need you now. Class A door car re-entry round. We need you to center lanes three and four, please. Left hand side, Audi Romero, dialed 612. Taking on JJ Cook, right side, dialed 552. Once again, we need door car A, door car class A. Two state lanes three and four for the re entry round. Door car class A re entry round. We need you to state lanes three and four, please. Gonna pick up the win line. 025 and 6 above. Take 11 thou the finish line. Cook. 039 and 5 above. No good. Adi Romero to round two.
Your next pair, left-hand side, Benny Gossett, dialed 550 in the Roadster, taking on Michael O'Brien, right side, dialed 625. Final call, final call for Class A door car re-entry. Final call for Class A door car re-entry round. Final call for Class A door car re-entry round. We need you to sit in lanes three and four, please. Final call for Class A door car re-entry round. We need you to lanes three and four, please. And while we do have a moment, I know no box just got done running, but no boxers, this is for you, so listen up. In addition to the 32 car top bulb shootout, we're going to throw on a 16 car no box high roller shootout as well. $150 entry, gonna pay 1,000 to win, 300 to runner up, and 150 to each semi. 16 car shootout for no box that will be contested in conjunction with the top bulb shootout later this evening so if you would like to get your name on the list for the shootout please come and see the girls in registration so once again a 16 car no box shootout has been added as well on top of the 32 car top bulb shootout so once again the we have decided to throw on a 16 car no box shootout presented by Fuel Tech. Gonna pay $1,000 to win, 300 to runner up, and 150 to each semi for a $150 entry. So if you would like to get your name on that list, please come see the girls in registration. We will have that in conjunction with the 32 car top bulb shootout later this evening as well. At this time, I need Class B Dragster, Class B Dragster re-entry round, Class B Dragster re-entry round. We need you guys two lanes five and six, Class B Dragster re-entry round. We need you two lanes five and six, please, Class B Dragster. 
We need you to lanes five and six, please. Class B dragster re-entry round. We need you to lanes five and six. Your first pair of the door cars on the box side. Left hand side, Isaac Hill dialed 609, taking on Wes Neely, right side dialed 580. Next pair, left-hand side, Kyle Lindsey, dialed 650, taking on crew, Garrett, right side, dialed 589. And the win line gonna go to Garrett, 028, and three above, take four foul at the finish line. Lindsey missed it and puts it one above, no good. Jeff Lundy, left-hand side, dialed 579. Taking on Gage Eno, right side, dialed 607. And the win line, Gage Eno, 033, and one above as Lundy is late and 15 thou under. TJ Pruitt, left side, 645, taking on Shallon Broussard, right side, dialed 624.
14 and three above take 36 thousand finish line through it late and two above no good Larry Webb, left side, 5'10", taking on Chris Culkins, right side, dialed 5'43". And the one night, Larry Webb, 0 50, and dead on 9. Calkins, 0 31, and 4 above, no good. Garen Rott, left side, 630 of the dial, taking on Nick Curl, right side, dial 573. Seven and two above, take 003 at the finish line. Rot is late and 15 thou under no good. Left hand side, driver not on file, dialed 626, taking on Cody Parker, right side dialed 562. Tenth above, take 29th out, finish line. Left side is late. And nine above, no good. Jeff Benham, left side, 568, taking on Josh Decker, right side out, 624. Jeff Benham, 006 and one above three. Decker is 012, take 45 to be 38 thou under the dial, needed to take seven or less. Final call, final call for 
Class B Dragsters, absolute last and final call for Class B Dragster re-entry round. Last and final call for Class B Dragster re-entry round. Should be in the lanes. If you're not here, you are late. Absolute last and final call for Class B Dragster re-entry round. With that, we now move into our Class B Dragster re-entry round. Rolling through the water box. Your first pair out. Gonna be Bruce Holland, left side. 439. Hails out of Lexington, South Carolina. Taking on Bart Nelson, right-hand side, dialed 472 out of LaPorte, Texas. Nelson, 007, dead on three, 10 total. Get behind 10 thou's finish line. Holland, 15, take 10. To be 15 thou under the dial, mathematically locked out up front. Jay Codge, left side, 446, taking on Glenn Dilday, right side, dialed 480. Gonna go to Hodge, 009, and two above seven, take seven at the finish line. Dilday, 025, and one above eight, no good. Jake Hodge, two round two. Ty Farmer, left side, 483, taking on Danny McCormick, right side, dialed 508. Windlight gonna go to Farmer, 024, and 9 thou under the dial. The front is red, and 6 thou under no good.
Win light left hand side, 007 and two above. Par. 009 and three above, no good. Left hand side, Corey Galitti dialed 434, taking on Mario Gonzalez. Right side dialed 455. take 003 to be seven thou under on the double breakout. Gonzalez, 024 and eight thou under, no good. Corey Galitti to round two. Mike Crater, left hand side, 435. Taking on Jeremy Smith, right side out, 481. And at this time, I need C class door car, double enter door car, C class door car. We need you to stay lanes. Three and four, please. State of lanes three and four for C run sticker door car. Double enter door car, C class door car. We need you to state of lanes three and four, please. Wind light, Jeremy Smith, 022 and dead on seven, 19, 29 total. Take 19 thou at the finish line. Crater is 011 and three above, no good. Dylan Rollinson, left side, 509, taking on Turbo, Ty Casey, right side, dialed 473. Gonna go to Rollinson 014. Take triple zero seven seven ten thou at the finish line. To be dead on nine twenty three total. To get back into round number two. Spencer Massey left side four seventy two taking on Kurt Harvey right side dialed four seventy two. Once again, I need C-Class Door Car. Double enter Door Car, C-Class Door Car. We need you to sit in lanes five and six, please. C-Class Door Car, we need you to sit in lanes five, I'm sorry, three and four. C-Class Door Car, we need you to three and four, please. C-Class Door Car, we need you to sit in lanes three and four, please. Win like Kurt Harvey, 009, get behind four thou at the finish line to pick up the win light and move back into round number two. John Angel, left side, 445, taking on Talon at Farmer, right side dial, 473. Dead on three, 18 total. Farmer, 17, take 15. To be 14, thou under. Needed to take one or less. Angel to round two. Perry Como, left side, 443, taking on boy baby Chris Jones, right side dialed 467. Separate them, win 
line. Perry Como, it's going to be five, get there a foul to be dead on one. Jones, 16, get behind to be one above. No good. Perry Como to round two. Willie Compton left side, 476, taking on David Hammonds right side dialed 660. Final call, final call for C run sticker door car, C class door car, double enter door car, C class door car, final call for re entry round for the C class door cars. We need you to staging lanes three and four, please. Final call for C class door cars. We need you to staging lanes three and four, please. Wind light, Bowie Compton, 013, and 8th thou under the dial. Hammonds is 014, and 9th thou under no good. Double breakout race, wind light, Bowie Compton. At this time, I need C run sticker dragster, C class dragster, double enter dragster, re entry round, C class dragster, re entry round. We will take you to lane seven and eight, please. C class dragster, we need you to seven and eight, please. C class dragster, we need you to seven and eight, please. Back to the door car side, Derek Patton, left hand side, 674, taking on. Driver not on file, right hand side, dialed 624. Right hand side, 032, dead on four, 36 total, take 12 foul to finish line. Derek Patton, 16, get behind to be three above, no good. Brian Kennedy, left side, 563, taking on Wes Neely, right side, dialed 581.
Wen Lai, Wes Neely, 0 10 and dead on four, 14 total. Get their 18th out the finish line. Kennedy, 006 and stops to be two above, no good. Once again, I need C Class Dragster, C Class Dragster, re entry round to the staging lanes, please. C Class Dragster, re entry round to Stadium Lane 7 and 8, please. C Class Dragster, we need you to Stadium Lane 7 and 8, please. TJ Pruitt, left side, 647, taking on Crew Garrett, right side, dialed 592. Separate them up front. Wind light, TJ Pruitt, 0 15 and two above. As Garrett, 23, take 25 to be 12 thou under. You need to take 13 or less. TJ Pruitt back into round number two. So while we have a second of downtime, we have some of our prize giveaway winners from yesterday. The pullout bar prize giveaway winners, Mariah Murray and Glenn Dilday. Congratulations to both of you. Come up to registration and collect your prize from the girls. Mariah Murray and Glenn Dilday win the pullout bar giveaway from yesterday. This is Bracket Racing Elite one month subscription. Gonna go to Bruce. Holland. Bruce Holland, you have won a, this is Bracket Racing Elite one month subscription. Bowie Compton, already been announced as the Get em Lucky Dog re-entry prize giveaway, had, their, had his uh, re-entry paid for by get them so huge thank you to get them for putting Bowie back into the race a fuel tech fuel jug gonna go to Greg Clark and Perry Como Greg Clark and Perry Como you've both won a fuel tech fuel jug two more pull out bars to go away Sam Patrick and Lane Como Sam Patrick and Lane Como, you have won a pullout bar. And another, this is Bracket Racing Elite one month subscription. Gonna go to Mad Max McLaughlin. Mad Max McLaughlin, you've won a, this is Bracket Racing Elite one month subscription. So if your name was just announced and you have won one of our prizes, please come see the girls in registration. Huge thank you to Pull Out Bar. This is Rack Racing Elite. Get them. And Fuel Tech for sponsoring our prize giveaways here this weekend. Mariah Murray and Glenn Dilday, Sam Patrick and Lane Como, all four of you guys are going to take home a Pull Out Bar. Bruce Holland and Mad Max McLaughlin, you have each won a This Is Bracket Racing Elite one month subscription. Greg Clark and Perry Como, you have each won a Fuel Tech Fuel Jug. And Bowie Compton was our Get Em Lucky, Get Em Performance Lucky Dog re entry prize winner. So, once again, huge thank you to the Pullout Bar, This Is Bracket Racing Elite, Get Em Performance Fuel Tech for sponsoring some prize giveaways here this weekend. Support the companies that support you. Let's so make sure you check those guys out. And speaking of support the companies that support you, you've been in the staging lanes, you have noticed that Larice Motorsports Insurance has a little canopy set up 
right next to the staging lanes. If you go and see them and you get a quote or give them your information so they can contact you about a quote, you are going to be entered into a drawing for a up to $50,000 insurance policy through Larice Motorsports Insurance. So make sure you go and see them this weekend. Make sure you tell them thank you for being out here. And you can get your name entered into a drawing for an up to $50,000 insurance policy. Reese Motorsports Church does both on and off track coverage. So it doesn't have to just necessarily be your race car that you're going to get a quote on. So please go see the folks down in the Larice Motorsports Insurance tent and make sure you talk to them. You can get yourself a quote for a up to $50,000 insurance giveaway. Once again, you go talk to them, they're gonna put your name in a raffle and they're gonna give, give away a policy worth up to $50,000. So once again, huge thank you to Larice Motorsports Insurance. Make sure you go and see them. And you could potentially walk out of here with your race car being insured. Final call, final call for C-Class Dragster. Final call for C-Class Dragster. We need you to the staging lanes, please. Absolute last and final call for C-Class Dragster. We need you to the staging lanes, please. First pair of C Dragster re-entry, Bubba Stevenson left side, 466, taking on Bart Nelson, right side dialed, 472. Bubba Stevenson getting back in. 002 red and dead on seven on the double red light start. Nelson is 006 red and nine thou under. And Bubba Stevenson back into round number two. Mike Crater left side, 434. Right hand side, driver not on file, dialed 483. Junior Dragster, round number one of eliminations. Junior Dragster, round number one of eliminations to lanes seven and eight, please. Junior Dragster, round number one of eliminations to lanes seven and eight. Your potential weight and see by for first round is Carter Landry, car number 010. Carter Landry, you are the potential weight and see by for first round of Junior Dragsters. We need first round of Junior Dragster eliminations to lanes seven and eight, please. Taylor Holland, left side, 440, taking on Austin Free, right side, dialed 481.
Oh, and I Austin free. Oh, 20. And 15 thou under. Holland is 003 red and 34 thou under the dial. Bowie Compton left side was the Get em Lucky Dog re entry winner. Got his re entry paid for courtesy of Get em Performance. Left hand side dialed 475, taking on Jordan Amper Jesse. Right side dialed 431. Just a reminder, Junior Dragsters, you guys are first or second round buybacks here this weekend. First or second round buybacks this weekend. And it is just a straight buyback. There is no re entry round. Compton with 10,000 in pocket. And Compton with a win light. So your Get em Performance Lucky Dog re entry winner. Got his re-entry paid for, and he is going to second round. 013 and dead on three, 16 total. Mathematically locked out, Epper Jesse's 023 light. So once again, Junior Dragsters, we need first round of Junior Dragster eliminations to set lane seven and eight. And just a reminder that it is first or second round buybacks for Junior Dragsters here this weekend. First or second round buybacks. For Junior Dragsters here this weekend. And Carter Landry, you are on the wait and see by for Junior Dragsters. Left side, driving on foul, dialed 455, taking on Turbo. Ty Casey, right side, dialed 472, and the win line going to go to Ty Casey. 005 and two above. Left side, 012, and a whole bunch over, no good. Mario Gonzalez, left side, dialed 454, taking on Brittany Lejeune, right side, dialed 481. Win light, Lejeune, 0, 017, dead 0, 017 total, take 8 thou at the finish line. Gonzalez, 0, 021, dead 4, 25 total, no good. Brittany Lejeune, back in. Your final pair of the Get em Performance re-entry round. Left-hand side, driver not on file, dialed 4, a 37. Taking on Logan Diggs, right side, dialed 609. Dead zero. Get there, 19 thou at the finish line. Left hand side, 032, and dead on five, no good. Logan Diggs to round number two.
And here we go with 
Junior Dragster, round number one. This is Burleson Construction Junior Dragster. Left hand side, Hutch Harger dialed 1190. You're going to be taking on Lyndon Bryan, right side, dialed 1191. And Harger gonna move on, 047 and two above. Brian is red and seven under. So Hutch Harger, around two. Easton Hodge, left-hand side, dialed 876, taking on Slade Oland, right side, dialed 813. Easton will be moving on, 031. And 600. Oland is red and 27 thou under. No good. Left hand side now, Douglas Hughes dialed 810 out of Pasadena, Texas. Taking on Benton, Kentucky's Jake England, right side dialed 897. But Hughes with a win line, 094 and 28 thou under on the double breakout. England, 52 and a bunch under. Bubba Stevenson left side, 901, taking on Carson Graham, right side, dialed 918. And the wind line gonna go to Stevenson 068 and a whole bunch under. Graham is red and also a whole bunch under.
Left hand side, driver not on file, dialed 908, taking on Mia Meadows, right side dialed 896. Left hand side, 0 12 and 5 above. Meadows is missed it and puts it four under no good. Tory Barnett left side, 796, taking on Jace. Esne, Esne, Esno. I'm probably butchering that, I apologize. 830 in the right hand side. is red and seven above. Don't forget, juniors, first or second round buybacks today. First or second round buybacks for junior dragsters here today. this time I need no box N class N no box round number two need you to the state of lanes please your wait and see by for round number two on the no box side is Greg Clark with your N entry 177 N Greg Clark you are the wait and see by for round number two of no box and I need no box round two to state of lanes one and two please no box class N round number two to state of lanes one and two Connor Landry on his by run is double O one and puts it seven above. So Landry will move on to round number two and double O one up front, showing why he earned that by run. Drive Sport Compact, designed for the elite and the garage build. Information is power, because data is the difference between winning and losing. We give you the options, versatility, and power to come out on top. Complacent isn't in our vocabulary. We drive you, and that's why Fuel Tech is everywhere.
Larice Motorsports Insurance, four generations in the insurance business and over 30 years in motorsports, offering package policy for all your valuable racing equipment, on the road or at the track. Be a winner with Larice Motorsports Insurance. Go to Facebook today. Get a quote from Larice Motorsports Insurance. Welding, pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. Nick Curl, you have won a free entry courtesy of Get'em Performance. And of course, last night, Leggy's Damn Yankee bonus went to Hunter Patton as he won the main event last night. So congratulations to Jake Levitino, Derek Patton, Nick Curl, and Hunter Patton. Please come see the girls in registration to collect your prize.
Pro One Racing and Safety round number two, no box group in. Coming at you, J.D. McNeil and Nick Curl are going to kick things off. McNeil left side out of Powderly, Texas in the Camaro. Dialed 673 and one bad dude out of Mount Vernon, Missouri, right side, Nick Curl in the Mopar. Dialed 5 at 73. Double 07 and 200s under the dial in. We got a, looks like a piece of trash blowing around about 250 feet on the right side. We're gonna grab that real quick. Audi Romero out of New Iberia, Louisiana. Out 615 and Chad Salem right side. Burleson, Texas native. Sandlin family racing pickup truck, 622. His prediction, we're rolling through Pearl One Racing and safety round number one. and or Round number two, just kidding. I don't even know why I was thinking, I was Pro One round one, just sounded great. Rolls off the tongue better. Salem 23 and 200s under. He'll move on to round number three. Group A door car. Group A door car to the lanes, please. Group A door car. Group A door car. We will take you to the staging lanes as Benny Gossett now. It's a pretty good matchup right here. San Angelo, Texas left side in the buggy down 549. Lucas Walker right side. Trying to get things rolling in the silver car down 587 out of Murray, Kentucky. is 17 and 10 thou behind win light gossett 17 take a thou for lucas walker is no good seven and ten thou under for benny gossett gonna move on mitchell seymour now last night's Shootout winner, dialed 655, Jed Landry, right side, 613 in the G-Body. Out of Darrow, Louisiana. Mitchell Seymour in trouble, win light. Landry, how about two take three? Turns on the wind light. Mitchell, 21, one above, and three thou behind. Two take three for Jed Landry, gonna move on. Jason England now. Five sixty-five for the Benton Kentucky Mustang left side. David Latino right side, out of Mississippi. Out 661. Red light Latino by 31 thou. Angle 39 thou red behind him, but his wind light is on. 38 red and dead zero. That's a 35. I don't know what I said, but he's 38 red, dead zero. Good time to be 38 red when your guy's 30 red in front of you. Michael Bryant and Jeremiah Butler now. New Orleans, Louisiana left side for the S10. Dialed 625. Butler out of Mayfield, Kentucky, right side, a Paducah dragway runner down 625. Once again, we've called Group A door car, Pro One Racing and Safety round two. 
Group A door car. We need you to the lanes. Four Pro One Racing and Safety round at number two. We've got a heads up drag race on the starting line. Seventy nine foul red for Butler's no good. Bryant is a foul red behind him and his wind light is on. A foul red to above Michael Bryant to round number three. We've got one no box double that's got to turn back around and get back to the lanes and that will wrap up no box after this pair here. We'll have uh, one more pair waiting. Charlie Lockhart, down 5 of 68 in Trusty. Former Phil Combs ride, turned on a lot of wind lights there and Charlie's taken it and continued the tradition. Landry right side in the G-body. Wow, 629. Win light Lockhart, 13, take 55 to be four above. Landry, 90 and two above. As that doesn't do it for no box just yet, we've got one more pair as soon as we get our other no box contingent back to the staging lanes. Your final pair of Pro One Safety round number two on the no box side. Greg Clark, left hand side, dialed 623, taking on J.D. McNeil, right side, dialed 671. McNeil with a win light, 021 and one above, as Clark is 009 red and one above no good. So that will wrap up round number two on the no box side. As we will have Class A door car rolling around the corner momentarily.
First pair of door cars on the top bulb side. Left hand side, Mad Max McLaughlin. Dialed 599, taking on Logan Diggs. Right side dialed 612. And the win line going to go to Logan Diggs, 0 11, dead 7, 18 total. Moving on. McLaughlin, 0 31, and 3 thou under no good. Wesley Fowler now left side, 556, taking on Glenn Dilday, right side dialed, 532. Wind light there going to go to Dill Day, 021, and dead on 8. As Fowler is red and 13 thou under. Left hand side now, Stephen Hughes dialed 564, taking on Shallon Broussard. Right side dialed 624. And at this time, the call now goes out for Class B Dragster. Class B Dragster, we will take you to the state of lanes now, please. Class B Dragster, we will take you to Stater Lane 7 and 8 now, please. Class B Dragster, we will take you to 5 and 6. 5 and 6. Class B Dragster, round number 2, we will take you to the lanes. Five and six, please. Danny Paul, left side, 597, taking on Rick Huffman, right side, out 626. Huffman, 013, and one above zero get their 27th out finish line. Danny Paul, 002, but cannot cover the number. Puts it four above. No good. Jeff Benham, left side, 569, taking on Paul Ratliff, right side, out 606. Ratliff going to move on, 002 and 3 above. Venom is 001 red and has some problems. Just coast on down. So we're going to give a quick check of the racetrack and we'll be back momentarily.
TJ Pruitt, left-hand side, 647, taking on Wes Neely, right side held, 581. Separate them up front. Wind line says. Wes Neely, 007, dead on 310 total. Get their 19,000 finish line. Pruitt is 017 and one above, no good. Wes Neely to round three. Bruce White, left side, 624, taking on Gage Eno, right side out, 607. Gonna move on, 046 and dead zero. Get there, nothing. Two ten thou at the finish line. White is also 046 and puts it dead one, no good. Derek Patton left side, 673, taking on Larry Webb, right side out, 511. Once again, I need B a Dragster. B Dragster, we need you to five and six, please. B Dragster, we need you to five and six, please. B Class Dragster, we need you to Santa Lanes five and six, please. Derek Patton, 099, and moving on. As he's six above. Webb is very late and very above. No good. Eric Sandlin, left side, 616, taking on. Travis Barnett, right hand side out, 480. Barnett, 013, dead zero, 13 total. We'll move on, Sandlin is 006 red and two above, no good. <coughs> That'll bring up Hunter Whitehead, left side, 658. Taking on Brian Kennedy, right side, dialed 495. Light, Hunter Whitehead, 007 and one above four. Kennedy is 047 and four under, no good. Greg Clark, left hand side, 623, taking on crew. Garrett, right side, dialed 589. Garrett, 
four above, Clark is late. And five above, no good. Nick Curl, left side, 573, taking on Cody Parker, right side, dialed 562. Light Nick Girl 017 and dead on two 19 total. Get behind 27 thou at the finish line. Parker is 009 and 17 thou under no good. Ty Farmer left side 483 taking on David Latino right side dialed 539. To be two above, and Latino is double O six and three above to be one foul behind. Ty Farmer to round three. Perry Como left side, 443. Taking on Jesse Marco, right side. Out 474. Jesse Marco, 001, and one above one, take 006 at the finish line. Como is 003, one, and one above five to come up six thou short. Jesse Marco to round three. Lane Como now, left side, 461, taking on Tristan Scholler, right side, dialed 483. Under the dial. Como 016, take 009 to be 9 thou under. Had to take one or less to be less under the dial in. Hunter Patton left side, 452. Taking on Mariah Murray. Right hand side, dialed 485. Murray is late and 15 thou under no good. Honey Wayne to round three.
Colby Spence left side, 488, taking on Chase Ty. Chase Murray right side, dialed 485. Chase Murray, 019, take three. To be one above with a five, Colby Spence, 15. And two above, no good. Chase tie to round three. Jake Hodge, left side, 446, taking on Kyle Cunningham, right side, dialed 482. Dead eight, 23 total. Cunningham is late and five thousand under no good. Jake Hodge to round three. John Angel left side, 445, taking on Bart Nelson, right side out, 472. Nelson with a win line, 021, dead three, 24 total. Angel, 37, one above, no good. Corey Glitty left side, 434, taking on Brittany Lejeune, right side, dialed 481. Light Lejeune, 008, and one above three. Get behind 14,000 finish line. Glitty, 16, take 14. To be 9,000 under. Bubba Stevenson now, left side, 466. Taking on Jordan Epper Jesse, right side, now 431.
Win line, Average SC 040, seven and one above. Get their 13 thou at the finish line. Stevenson is late and three thou under no good. Dylan Rollinson left side, 509, taking on Talon Farmer, right side out, 472. At this time, I will take C-Class door car. C-Class door car. I will take C-Class door car. Three, eight, three, eight, C-Class door car. We will take you to city lanes three and four, please. C-Class door cars. We will take you now, please. Wind light going to Talon Farmer. O20 and dead three, 23 total. Rollinson 17 and a thou under taking sixth out finish line. Needed to take five or less. Nate Dog left hand side dialed 453, taking on Jeremy Smith right side dialed 481. Dog in control and Nate Dog with a win line. Double O five and four above. Take twenty fourth out finish line. Smith is late and four above six no Tori Collier left side, 462, taking on Austin Free. Little drag champ dialed 479 in the right hand side. Bosher City, Louisiana, left hand side, Katy, Texas in the right hand side. Free 019 get behind triple zero nine at the finish line. V1 above three. Call your 49. Take nothing to be 17 thou under the dial. Austin Free moving on. Shane Carr left side. Chicka Shane coming here out of Killing, Alabama. Dialed 445. Taking on Donnie B. Donnie Burleson right hand side. Dialed 448. And this is the third time that they have ran each other on the weekend so far. And typically Shane is driving for Donnie. This weekend he's not, but apparently they're trying to each other as much as they can before the weekend ends. Two black guys separate. And we're not gonna go to Donnie B, 010, and one above with a five. Take six thou at the finish line. Shane Carr, 008, and two above, no good. Burleson moving on. Coy Collier left side, 459, taking on Kurt Harvey, right side out, 471. Under Collier is 003 red and six under the dial, 453 on the 459. Jake Levitino left side, 458, taking on Bowie Compton, right side dialed 475.
Once again, I need C-Class door car. C-Class door car. Round number two to the staging lanes, please. C-Class door car, round number two. We need you to the staging lanes now, please. C-Class door car. We will take you now. And Compton gonna move on there as Levitino unfortunately having an issues not able to make the pass. So Compton motors on down and will motor his way into round number three. Slate Cummins left side, 432, taking on Taylor Holland right side out 437. says Slate Cummins 012 and dead on three 15 total moving on Holland is 019 and locked out puts it one above no good At this time, final call, absolute last and final call for Class C door car. Absolute last and final call for Class C door car. We will take you to the staging lanes now, please. Absolute last and final call for Class C door car. We will take you now to the staging lanes, please. And first call going out, first call going out for C Class Dragster. Class C Dragster, we will take you to staging lanes five and six please class c dragster we will take you to city lanes five and six please class c dragster we need you now final call for class c door car we are running without you class c dragster we will take you back to the lanes now please Mad Max McLaughlin, left-hand side, 598 the dial, taking on Wes Neely, right side, dialed four, I'm sorry, 581 for Wes Neely on the right-hand side, 581. Coming out of Florence, Mississippi, taking on the Texan, out of Krugerville, Texas, Mad Max McLaughlin. Neely in control. And Neely with a wind light. 
031 and one above with a two take 12 thou at the finish line. McLaughlin is late and 13 thou under no good. Bruce White left side 624 taking on Gage Eno right side dialed 607. and three above take 37 thou at the finish line white is late and two above no good jeff benham left side 569 taking on travis barnett right side held 479 Three red and puts it 12 thou under. Travis Barnett, the fastest door car on property, still alive and heading to round number three. Challen Broussard, left side, 624, taking on Rick Huffman, right side, dialed 625. Once again, we need Class C Dragster, double ender Dragster, Class C Dragster. We need you to stay to lanes five and six, please. Appears they moved you over to seven and eight. So class C dragster to state lane seven and eight, please. Class C dragster, we will take you to lane seven and eight, please. Hoffman in full control and the wind line says. Rick Huffman, 003 and seven thou under on the double breakout race. Broussard missed it and puts it 12 thou under Needed to get five thou further behind.
moving into the dragster side as we had one final door car to head. Ty Farmer left side, 483, taking on Cody Parker, right side, dialed 560. So once again, all classes have been called for Pro One Safety round number two. Wind line going to go to Farmer, 036 and 4 under the dial. Parker is red and 12 thou under no good. Next pair, left hand side, Hunter Patton, 451, taking on Tristan Scholler, right side, dialed 482. Tristan Scholler, 002, dead four, six total. Get their 16,000 finish line. Hunter Patton, 018 up front and mathematically ineligible. Puts it dead on four, no good. Tristan Scholler, to round three. John Angel, left side, 445, taking on Caden Smith, dialed 479. Angel, 021, and one above seven. Get behind 20,000 finish line. Smith, 30, take 20 to be 12,000 under. Corey Galitti, left side, 431, taking on Jesse Marco, right side, held 474. Getting yelled at by Hodge again up here. It is Jesse Marceau in the right-hand side, dialed 474. Absolute last and final call for Class C Dragster. Last and final call for Class C Dragster. Round number two to the staging lanes. Absolute last and final call for Class C Dragster. Round two to the staging lanes. Glitty with a win light, 010, and one thou under on the double breakout race. Marceau is 13 and 8 thou under no good. Lane Como left side, 459, taking on Brittany Lejeune right side, dialed 481.
13 and dead to 15 total. Thumo is 10 and 2 thou under, taking 7 thou at the finish line. Had to take 5 or less. And Brittany Legerne to round number 3. Bubba Stevenson, 466, left hand side, taking on Kyle Cunningham in the right hand side. Greenbrier, Arkansas, he calls home, dialed 482. Winlight Stevenson 030 and one above as Cunningham missed it and puts it 9,000 under no good. Winlight Ty Casey 002 and dead on seven nine total. Get there one ten thou two take nothing. That's what it takes to get you into round three. And that's why I am glad I am just working this race and not running in it. Rollinson was 016 and eight thou under. No good. Ty Casey moving on. Perry Como left side, 445, taking on the boy baby. Chris Jones right side out 467. baby. 004, dead at 7, 11 total. Gets fed at the finish line. Como is 13 and stops to be 3 above. Chris Jones, 2 round 3. Austin Free, right hand side, dialed 479. Going to be taking on left hand side. Driver not on file, dialed 471. Believe this is Spencer Massey in the left hand side. Could be wrong. Jake Easton is on his way, just so you know. <laughs> Left hand side, 014, take double 03 to be one above. Austin is 16 up front and one above eight, no good. Spencer Massey moving on. Slate Cummins left side, 431. Taking on Donnie B. Donnie Burleson right side, dialed 449. Winlight Slate Cummins, 006, get behind 4th out to be dead on 5, Burleson. 8 take 5 to be 2 thou under. Had to take 3 or less. Slate Cummins moving on. Bowie Compton left side, 475, taking on Kurt Harvey right side, dialed 470.
And at this time, we need Burleson Construction Junior Dragsters, Junior Dragsters, to the staging lanes for round number two. Junior Dragster round two. We need to the lanes, please. Brody Cummins, Brody Cummings. Car number 016, Brody Cummings, you are the wait and see by. Brody Cummings, you are the wait and see by for round number two of Junior Dragsters, and we need juniors to lane seven and eight for round two of eliminations, please. Kurt Harvey, 008, and 4 Thou Under, moving on. Compton is 15 and 12 Thou Under on the double breakout. No good. Sugar Shane Carr, left side, 445, taking on Troy, I'm sorry, Tory Collier, right side, dialed 460. Shane is perfect and clicks it off early as Collier is red and puts it to Thou under. Coy Collier, left-hand side. Your final car of Pro 1 Safety round number two. Left side dialed 474. Believe we are dialed for the 330 spot drop. Double oh eight and puts it eight above four eighty two on the four seventy four will move on. So that will wrap up our Pro One safety round number two. And once again we need Junior Dragster, Burles in construction, Junior Dragster, round number two. Two stage lane seven and eight, please. Burles in construction. Round number two. Larice Motorsports Insurance, four generations in the insurance business and over 30 years in motorsports, offering package policy for all your valuable racing equipment, on the road or at the track. Be a winner with Larice Motorsports Insurance. Go to Facebook today. Get a quote from Larice Motorsports Insurance.
Final call, final call for round number two of Burleson Construction Junior Dragsters. Final call for round number two of Burleson Construction Junior Dragsters. We need you to the lanes, please. Final call for Junior Dragster round two.
First pair of Burroughs and Construction Junior Dragsters, round number two. Left-hand side, Hutch Harger, dialed 1190. Taking on Lyndon Bryan, right-hand side, dialed 1190. Win light going to go to Harger on the double breakout. 061 and 3,000 under. Brian, 078 and 400 under the dial. Eason Hodge, left-hand side, 872. Taking on Jace, the stump man, Eno, right side, dialed 836. Easton will turn the red bulb on. 034 red and nine under the dial. Stuntman is 22 red behind him and will pick up the wind light as he will go 13 under the dial. Douglas Hughes left side, 807, taking on Jake England right side, dialed 887. Light, Douglas Hughes, 046 and 15 above, take 10 thou at the finish line. England is 18 and a bunch above, no good. Bubba Stevenson left side, 890 the dial, taking on Connor Landry, right side, dial 946. And the win like Connor Landry, 031, dead zero. 31 total, we'll move on. Stevenson is late and two above, no good.
Carson Graham left side, 904, taking on Slade Oland right side out 810. going to move on. Late and 12 above. Oland is red. And three above, no good. Tori Barnett, left side, 798. Taking on Mia Meadows, right side, dialed 891. Three of class and no box. Winlight Barnett as Meadows is 004 red and three above no good. Barnett gonna move on to round number three, but don't forget junior dragsters, just so you guys know, it is first or second round buybacks today. So just because you lost this round does not mean that you have to be done for the day. It is first or second round buyback, so you can still buy back if you did not have to do so in the first round. Brody Cummings left side, 908 the dial. Making his buy run. Getting the solo shot into round number three. On his by run is 013. And clicks it off early to be eight above. So Brody Cummings. Moving on to round number three, and that will wrap up round two of the Burleson Construction Junior Dragster class.
while we have a quick moment of silence, Shane Carr, Sugar Shane, you are the potential wait and see by for this next round of box racing. Car number 214C, Shane Carr, you are the potential wait and see by for round number three of box. FTD Custom round number three, no box. Coming at you, left-hand side, J.D. McNeil, 671, taking on Chad Sandlin, right side. Pair of Texas natives, Sandlin dialed 621 in the door truck. Spot McNeil, exactly one bulb head start. And one thou, separate them up front, win line. Goes to McNeil. 10 take seven to be two above. Sandlin is 11 and three above with a one. No good. JD McNeil moving on. Your next pair left hand side, Charlie Lockhart. 568 the dial in. Taking on Michael Bryant, right side, dialed 625.
Burkhart moving on, 006. And dead on three, nine total for Charlie Lockhart. Bryant is red and clicks it off early. Jason England left side, 565, taking on Jed Landry right side, dialed 613. Win light, Jason England, 013 red and 18 thou under the dial, moving on as Landry is 25 red in front of him and puts it dead on three, no good. So waiting on our one double to come back as I see him pulling into the back of the staging lanes now. And then we'll have our final pair of FTD custom no box round three coming at you here in just a moment. Don't forget, racers, if you lose early and you don't get in the shootouts, don't leave just yet. Still have our Larice Motorsports Insurance Racer Appreciation Party later this evening. It's going to be about 7 o'clock at the stage behind the tower. Same place we had our Thursday night boatload of beer and gumbo party. going to be having Postalaya. The boat is going to be getting restocked. And it's going to be a good time. So make sure you come on over and make sure you come hungry because I'm sure they're going to have plenty of Postalaya for everybody. Once again, that's going to be about 7 o'clock tonight, our Reese Motorsports Insurance Racer Appreciation Party. And don't forget, if you haven't already, make sure you go see the people in the Larice Motorsports Insurance tent right next to the staging lanes. You get a quote, 
or give them your information for them to contact you. They're going to put your name in a raffle. And whoever wins the drawing is going to get a up to $50,000 insurance policy. Courtesy of Larice Motorsports Insurance. Your final pair of FTD Custom Round 3 of Nobox. Benny Gossett, left side, 548, taking on J.D. McNeil, right side, dialed 674. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I need B-Class Dragster, B-Class Dragster, Class B Dragsters. We need you to stay in lanes five and six, please. Class B Dragsters, we need you to stay in lanes five and six. For FTD Custom Round number three, Class B Dragster. We will take you to the lanes for FTD Custom Round number three, please. Benny Gossett going to turn on the wind line, 013 and three above, take six thou at the finish line. McNeil is 031 and two above, no good. So that is going to wrap up our round three of no box. And we have door cars on the box side rolling around the corner. Your first pair of the box side coming out. Left hand side, Larry Webb dialed 511, taking on Glenn Dilday. Right hand side dialed 533. Odessa, Texas is where Webb calls home and Dilday coming down from Sibley, Missouri. to Dilday, 020 up front, and moving on. Runs at 7th out, under the dial in the double rakeout race as Webb is 12, take 43. To be 42 thou under the dial, had to take one or less. It's Glenn Dilday moving on. Crew Garrett left side, 589, taking on Logan Diggs, right side dialed 611. total. Mathematically locks out Logan Diggs' 008 reaction time. Diggs takes 6th thou to be 7th thou under. Cannot pick up the win light. 
Stephen Hughes left side, 563. Taking on Gage Eno, right hand side. Separate them. This is nasty. Win light Hughes. Perfect and one above six. Take 23 foul at the finish line. Eno is double oh four and three above on the stop. Douglas Hughes moving on. Stephen Hughes, I'm sorry, moving on. Hunter Whitehead left side, 659, taking on Rick Hoffman, right side, dialed 623. And Hunter Whitehead going to turn on the wind light. 003 and 9 foul under on the double breakout. Nick Curl left side, 573. Taking on Wes Neely right side, dialed 580. Neely 023 and dead on eight. Moving on, curl is 002 red and 17 thou under no good. Derek Patton left side 673 taking on Paul Ratliff right side dial 608. Win light Derek Patton, 008 and two above. Get behind 31 foul at the finish line. Ratliff, five take 31. To be eight foul under. Ty Farmer left side, 482, taking on Travis Barnett right side, dialed 480. Jake Hodge, left-hand side, 446, taking on Tristan Scholler, right side, dialed 482.
Seven thou separate them up front. Win line goes to Scholler. 0 12 and seven thou under. Take four thou with finish line double breakout race. Hodges 0 19 and 10 thou under. No good. John Angel, left side, 445, taking on Kurt Harvey, right side, dialed 470. Dead seven, no good. Angel, nine, take five to move on. Hunter Patton, left side, 451. Honey Wayne taking on Jesse Marceau, right side, dialed 473. Three. Oh, 16 up front and dead on one. Marsho moving on. Bowie Compton left side, 474. Taking on Brittany Lejeune, right side, dialed 481. Lejeune moving on, 022, and dead on eight. Compton is 008, and get behind to be four above, no good. Brittany Lejeune moving on. Nate Dog, Nathan Martin, left hand side, 453, taking on Bart Nelson, right side, dialed 472. Nelson, 004 and one above two. Get there, 27 thou. Nate Dog is 022 and two above, no good. Bart Nelson, moving on. Great,
Larice Motorsports Insurance, four generations in the insurance business and over 30 years in motorsports, offering package policy for all your valuable racing equipment, on the road or at the track. Be a winner with Larice Motorsports Insurance. Go to Facebook today. Get a quote from Larice Motorsports Insurance. We drive people. We drive bracket racing. Because reliability, accuracy, and consistency is what goes round and wins races. An all-in-one solution tailored to your application. Walk the pits and you'll begin to see fuel tech everywhere. All right, we're on a brief hold here for just a second. While it's quiet, do you want to announce that the top bulb shootout is full for later this evening? We do, however, still have a few spots left available in the bottom bulb shootout. So if you are interested in the 16 car bottom bulb shootout, we still have a few spots left available in that. And once again, don't forget the Racer Appreciation Party tonight at 7 o'clock. Larice Motorsports Insurance Racer Appreciation Party. The boat has been restocked, and Johnny told me it has already been iced down, so it is getting nice and cold for everybody. Going to have Postelaya, probably some practice tree racing. And, of course, some nice boatload of beer. Nothing better. So make sure you join us for the Larice Motorsports Insurance Racer Appreciation Party. Going to be starting that at about 7 o'clock this evening.
And here we go, back to racing. Left hand side, Slate Cummins. 431 the dial in, taking on Talon Farmer. Right side dialed 470. Attention to the pits, attention to the pits. At this time, I need Class C door car. Class C door car, we need you to send lanes three and four, please. Class C door car, we need you to send lanes three and four, please. Class C door car, we need you to send lanes three and four for RT FTD Custom round number three. As Farmer picks up the win light, 005 and one above three take 11 thou at the finish line. Slate, 14 and one above, no good. Bring up Austin Free. That is not Austin Free, or wait. That is Austin Free. Driving Mario Gonzalez's car. 455 the dial left hand side, taking on Jordan Epper Jesse, right side, held 431. Take 8 thou at the finish line. 3, 033, dead on 3. Was locked out, ooh, mathematically locked out up front. So after Jesse, to round number 4. Chase Murray, left side. Chase tied out 483. Taking on Donnie B. Donnie Burleson, right side, out 449. above Burleson is red and one above six no good. So once again, we need Class C door car. Class C door car. To city lanes three and four, please. Class C door car. We need you to city lanes three and four, please, for round number three of competition. Class C door car. We need you to the lanes for round number three. And at this time, I need Class C Dragster. Class C Dragster, we need you to the lanes five and six, please. Class C Dragster to lanes five and six. Shane Carr, you are on the wait and see by. Shane Carr, you are on the wait and see by.
Gay Gino, left hand side, 607 the dial, taking on Travis Barnett, right side, 480. And Eno moving on, 027, and two above Barnett is red, and one above no good. Wes Neely, left-hand side, 580 the dial, taking on Rick Huffman in Smalls out of Waxahachie, Texas, dialed 620. Neely coming from Florence, Mississippi. Separate them, win light, gonna go to Huffman. 012, dead one, 13 total. Locks out Neely's 019 reaction time. Neely, 581 on the 580, no good. Class C dragster, you should be in the lane. Class C dragster, you should be in the lanes. Final call for Class C dragsters. Should be in the lanes.
Bubba Stevenson, left hand side, 466, taking on Tristan Scholler, right side, out 481. Win light, Tristan Scholler, 030, dead nine, 39 total, take 17 dollars <laughs> at the finish line. Stevenson, 039, and one above, no good. Corey Galitti, left hand side, 431 out of Tumball, Texas. Taking on the pride of Nashville, Arkansas, boy baby Chris Jones, right hand side, 467. Winlight Galetti, 0 10 and one above. Take three foul at the finish line. Jones missed it and puts it dead to no good. Coy Collier, left hand side, 457. Taking on it. Brittany Lejeune, right side, dialed 481. Coy Collier, 006, take six to be dead on nine. Lejeune is 005 and one above, no good. Coy Collier, two round four. Spencer Massey, left side, 471 the dial. Taking on Turbo Ty Casey, right side dialed 470. Spencer Massey moving on, 014 and one above five. Casey is 008 red and dead on three, no good. Slate Cummins left side, 432, taking on Kurt Harvey, right side, dialed 470. Winlight Cummings, 015 and one above four. Harvey is 025 and one above three, no good. Sugar Shane Carr, left side, 445, taking on Ty Farmer, right side, held 481. This your final pair of FTD Custom round three. And we need Burleson Construction, Junior Dragster. Junior Dragster, we need you to the lanes, please. Seven and eight. Junior Dragsters, we need you to lane seven and eight, please. 
Douglas Hughes, car 004, you are on the wait and see by. Whew. Ty Farmer, eight, take two to be 10 thou above the dial in for the win. Car 006, one above five, no good. Farmer, eight, take two, moving on. Once again, Junior Dragster, Junior Dragster, we need you to the stadium lanes, please. Junior Dragster, round number three. We need you to stadium lanes seven and eight, please. Junior Dragster, round three. We need you to seven and eight, please.
Don't forget, we still have some spots available in the 16 car high roller no box shootout. 16 car high roller no box shootout. We still have a few spots left in that, so if you are interested and would like to get on the shootout list, please come see the girls in registration and they will take care of you. Still got a few spots left in the 16 car no box shootout. Well, we've got a little bit of silence here. Got some more giveaway prize winners to announce. Got two more Fuel Tech fuel jugs to give away. Winners of those is Paul Ratliff and Kenneth Perkins. Paul Ratliff and Bucky. You have won, each of you have won a Fuel Tech fuel jug. So make sure you come up to registration to collect your prize have another this is bracket racing elite one month subscription giveaway winner of that is isaac hill isaac hill you have won a subscription for one month to this is bracket racing elite then we have two more junior prize prizes to uh give away here three more actually your two we have two three-month subscriptions to This Is Breck Racing Junior. Your winners for those are Lyndon Bryan and Connor Landry. So congratulations to Lyndon Bryan and Connor Landry. You have each won a three-month subscription to This Is Breck Racing Junior. And another Fuel Tech Fuel Jug to give away to Douglas Hughes. You have won a Fuel Tech Fuel Jug. So congratulations to all of our winners, once again, that is Paul Ratliff and Kenneth Perkins winning Fuel Tech Fuel Jugs. Isaac Hill winning a This Is Bracket Racing Elite one month subscription. And then for our junior prize giveaways, Lyndon Bryan and Douglas Hughes and Connor Landry. Lyndon Bryan and Connor Landry each won a three month subscription to this is Brack Racing Jr. and Douglas Hughes wins a Fuel Tech Fuel Jug. So, huge thank you once again to Fuel Tech as well as This Is Brack Racing Elite for kicking in some prizes for us to give back to our racers here this weekend. Still have a few more left to give away as well. And once again, don't forget to go see the folks in the Larice Motorsports Insurance tent. You can get your name in a raffle for a up to $50,000 insurance policy, courtesy of Larice Motorsports Insurance. Attention to the pits, attention to the pits at this time. I need no box, class and no box. And I believe we are down to four of you, so should be down to the no box semis. We need no box winners to lanes one and two. All no box winners. We need you to lanes one and two, please. All no box winners. We need you to lanes one and two, please.
And at this time, I need Class A door car. Class A door car. We need you to stay to lanes one and, I'm sorry, stay to lanes three and four, please. Class A door car. We need you to stay to lanes three and four, please. Stephen Hughes, car number 125A, you are on the wait and see by for this round of top bulb competition. Stephen Hughes, you are on the wait and see by for this round of top bulb competition. So once again, we need Class A door cars to the staging lanes, please, for Fuel Factory round number four. First pair of Burleson Construction Junior Dragster round number three. Left hand side, Easton Hodge dialed 866. Taking on the stuntman, Jace Eno, right side dialed 824. 20 thou, separate them up front. Advantage to stuntman, wind light says. Jace Eno, 009 and four above. Easton is 29 and three above to be seven thou behind. Jace Eno moving on. Your next pair, left-hand side, Tori Barnett, dialed 796. Connor Landry, right side, dialed 946. Advantage Barnett, win light. Landry, 039, and dead on five. 44 total for Connor Landry. Moving on, Barnett is 026 and two above to give it back by six thousandths of a second. Comes up six thou short. And Landry will move on. Bubba Stevenson left side, 890 the dial, taking on Hutch Harger right side, dialed 1190. Wind light, gonna go to Bubba Stevenson, 083, and dead on three. 86 total, Hot Harger, 087 up front. Take a thou to be three thou under. Now bring up your final pair. I'm sorry, this is not your final pair. I believe we still have one or two left to run. Carson Graham left side, 913 the dial, taking on Brody Cummings right side, dialed 916.
And the wind light gonna go to Carson Graham. 052 and clicks it off early as Cummings. Unfortunately having issues with the car, not wanting to stay fired, was 016 up front, but not able to make the lap. And Douglas Hughes, 036, and 9 thou under 805 on the 806. We'll move into round number four. And that's going to wrap up Burleson Junior Dragsters round number three. We're going to be moving into the environmental oil no box semi finals. Down to four no box competitors left. Final call for a Class A door car. Final call for a Class A door car. Absolute last and final call for a Class A door car. We need you in the lanes now, please. Final call, Class A door car. Your first pair of the no box semifinal, Charlie Lockhart, left hand side, 568, taking on J.D. McNeil, right side dialed, 675. Thou separate them. Win light. Charlie Lockhart, 013, one above. Get behind 28 thou at the finish line. McNeil, 017, take 28 to be 19 thou under. Had to take nine or less. And Charlie Lockhart will be one half of your Environmental Oil Services no box final. Benny Gossett, left side, 549 the dial. Taking on Jason England, right side dialed 564. Class B Dragster, Class B Dragster, we will take you now, please. Class B Dragster, we will take you now, please. Win light says Benny Gossett, 025 and one above. England is 027 red and 14 thou under the dial. Once again, Class B Dragsters, we will take you now. Two state of lanes, five and six, please. Class B Dragsters, we will take you now. Two state of lanes, five and six. Class B Dragster, we need you now. Once again, your top ball buy for this round is Stephen Hughes, car 125A. Stephen Hughes, car 125A. You are the weight and see buy for this round off the top bulb side.
Your first pair of the box side, left-hand side, crew, Garrett dialed 587, taking on Glenn Dilday, right side dialed 532. When like Glenn Dilday, 025 and two above, take 009 at the finish line. Garrett, 033 up front and three above, no good. Your next pair, left hand side, Hunter Whitehead. 658 the dial, taking on Wes Neely, right side dialed, 581. And Hunter Whitehead going to move on, 026, dead on 9. Neely, 036 up front and mathematically ineligible. So once again, Class B Dragsters, you should be in the lanes. Class B Dragsters, you should be in the lanes. Class B Dragster, we need you in the lanes now, please. I have a parts call, parts call going out. Ty Casey is in need of a set of Willwood Dynapro brake pads, part number 78127812. If you have a set of Willwood Dynapro brake pads, part number 7812, please go see Ty Casey. He is parked just before the staging lanes, a few trailers down. behind the blue shed, I do believe. So once again, if you have a set of Willwood Dynapro brake pads, part number 7812, please go see Ty Casey. As he apparently used them all up this weekend. Tension the pits, tension the pits. At this time, I need Class C door car. Class C door car. To the lanes, please. Class C door car. We need you to lanes three and four, please. Class C door car. We need you to lanes three and four, please. Class C door car. We need you to the staging lanes, please. Derek Patton, left side, 673. Taking on Chase Ty. Chase Murray, right side, dialed 486.
And Derek Patton going to move on, 019, and two above. Chase Tye, 034, take 20. To be seven thou under, had to take 13 or less. Derek Patton, two round number next. Ty Farmer, left side, 481, taking on Bart Nelson, right side, dialed 472. Tension in the pits, tension in the pits. For Junior Dragster, round number four, Jace Eno. You are the weight and see by. For juniors, round number four, Jace Eno, you are the weight and see by. Car 011. Seventeen thou separate them. Wind light says. Ty Farmer, 023, dead zero, 23 total, take 15 thou at the finish line. Nelson is 040 up front and two thou under the dial, no good. John Angel, left side, 445, taking on Tristan Scholler, right side, dialed 481. Scholler in control. Winlight says Tristan Scholler, 011 and 5 above. Take a whole lot. Angel has issues, it appears, 032 and a whole bunch over. Brittany Lejeune, left side, 481, taking on Jordan Epper Jesse, right side, held 431. Jern with a wind line, 026 and one above one. Take 14 thou at the finish line. Ever Jesse, 036 and one above, no good. Tension in the pits, tension in the pits. If you have parked your vehicle behind the tower near the stage, we need you to please move it. If you have parked your vehicle behind the tower near the stage, we need you to please come and move it as it is in the way as we are setting up for the Reese Motorsports Insurance Racer Appreciation Party. So if you would please come and move your vehicle, we would very much so appreciate it. Jesse Marceau, left side, 473, taking on Talon Farmer, right side, dialed 470. And Marceau going to move on, 012, take 12. To be one above five, Farmer 009, and three above, no good. Jesse Marceau to round five.
Tensional pits, tensional pits at this time. I need Class C Dragster. Class C Dragster to stage lanes five and six. Class C Dragster to five and six. So once again, all classes have been called for round number four. All classes have been called for round number four. Stephen Hughes, when you come up for your wait and see by, you can pull into off to the side somewhere. So once again, we need class C dragster and absolute last and final call for class C door car. Last and final call for class C door car. All classes have officially been called for round number four. Rick Huffman, left side, 620 the dial, taking on Gage Eno, right side dialed, 609. Winlight Rick Huffman. 022 and one above Eno is red and shuts it off early. Once again, we need Class C Dragster. Class C Dragster, we need you to the lanes, please. Class C Dragster, we need you to the lanes, please.
your first pair on the dragster side. Left hand side, Coy Collier. Dialed 458, taking on Tristan Scholler. Right side, dialed 481. Separate them up front. Wind line says Collier 014 and one above five. 23 thou at the finish line. Scholler is 12 and four over. No good. Spencer Massey left side. 472 the dial. Taking on Corey Galitti. Right side held 431. Ty Farmer, left-hand side, 481 the dial, taking on Slate Cummins, right side dial, 433. Four thou, separate them up front. Wind light says Ty Farmer will be doubled in round number five. Double oh eight and dead on seven. Take six thou at the finish line. Slate is 004 up front and puts it one above seven. No good. Ty Farmer will have two in at round number five. Uh, and here is your final car of round number four, presented by Fuel Factory. Stephen Hughes, right hand side, 562 the dial. Double O four up front. And dead on one. Five total on his by run for Stephen Hughes. And that
Larice Motorsports Insurance, four generations in the insurance business and over 30 years in motorsports, offering package policy for all your valuable racing equipment, on the road or at the track. Be a winner with Larice Motorsports Insurance. Go to Facebook today. Get a quote from Larice Motorsports Insurance. We drive tech. We drive the industry going beyond the limits and advancing forward. A versatile all-in-one solution. We're here for you every step of the way. And that's why you see Fuel Tech everywhere.
at this time, we will take the no box final to lanes one and two. Once again, the no box final to lanes one and two, please. All right, we got juniors pulling around. Our first matchup. We two eight ninety cars. Carson Graham, left hand side, down in a nine twelve. Taking on Bova Stevenson, about eight ninety. This one is all Bubba Stevenson. Winlight Stevenson, 46 and eight over, gets there 161. Carson Graham missed it and 17 over. That'll bring up, that'll bring up Douglas Hughes, left hand side. Doubt it, doubt it, 808. And on Connor Landry, about a 946. Douglas Hughes with the advantage. The wind light going to Douglas Hughes. 025 gets behind 2000. Turns on the wind light as Connor Landry is 056 and 4000 under. And our by car, Jace Eno. Right hand side down at 824. Just put me out of this deal. Rooting for him to win. Oh. 
flickers the pre-stage and stage ball on, and he is 022 red. Twenty-two red and eleven over. Out a 568 in the blown truck. Taking on Benny Gossett. Had some success this weekend. Out in 550 in the Roadster. As we are staged in set, this one is over. Charlie Lockhart in full control. Wind light goes to Charlie Lockhart. 33 and two over gets their 24 is Benny Gossett. 094 and nine thou under. Charlie Lockhart, your no box winner. He will be thrown in with the top bulb guys. Once again, all top bulb, you are combined, and we need you to lanes, please. All top bulb, all top bulb. Once again, thanks, Easton. Good job. All top bob door cars and dragsters, all groups need you to the lanes. You are all coming up for a chip draw. All top bob cars to the lanes. Charlie Lockhart, your bottom of bob winner. Here on Saturday at the 11th Annual Southern Big Buck Nationals presented by The Hose Connection.
Junior dragster semi, you can cool them off and start creeping back towards the staging lanes. Bubba Stevenson, you are holding the by run. As Eno and Hughes have both had one. Junior dragster semi, cool them and fuel them and bring them on back up here. We'll run you right behind. The I guess you can't really say ladder around the chip draw around a top ball.
So Rick's powder coating and Mosier engineering it Saturday. Round number five. Presented by the Million Dollar Drag Race. Ty Farmer, left side, Tuscola, Texas, dial 481. And Brittany Lejeune, right side, Dr. B, 482 out of Louisiana, right side. I'm not even going to try to say Marangoin. Sure. So we still need a white and black GMC moved, a white one and a black one. GMC moved out from behind the tower. We've asked nicely, we will tow it if need be. Johnny will tow it and Johnny doesn't have a tow truck, so I'd probably just move it. Ty Farmer, Brittany Lejeune, first pair round five. And five thou separate of advantage. Dr. B win light, Dr. B, Brittany, 16 and one above five. Twenty one, two over for Ty Farmer, no good. Stephen Hughes, Pasadena, Texas, left side. Dial 562, Tristan Scholler, right side. Gonzalez, Louisiana, 484 on his scoreboard. Once again, Junior Dragster Semi, we will take you to the lanes. Bubba Stevenson, you are holding the bye. Junior Dragster, oh, okay, Kendall Stevenson. You are holding the bye. Scholler, 10, take three, turns on the wind line. Hughes was 32 and three thou behind. Spencer Massey out of Fort Worth, Texas. 472 on his scoreboard, looks over and sees Glenn Dilday. Pretty sure Glenn lives in Missouri. Down 532 in the Nova. Dilday is away in 17. Oh, about 16. Take five. Turns on the wind light. He had a 13 thou advantage leaving the starting line. I just said the word 17 just to say it. I, mean, I don't know. I just, 16 take five. Glenn Dilday going to move on. And that means Charlie Lockhart will carry his by run into round number next. Spencer and Charlie both were carrying by runs. And Spencer had to go down there to give it to Charlie. And he did. Glenn Dilday going to move on. Jesse Marceau and Derek Patton now. Attention, Ryan Gleghorn. Sibley, Missouri is above the Mason-Dixon. And that is where Glenn Dilday is from. So best of luck, pal. Derek Patton right side of the Maverick has made, I want to say, no less than 30 runs in, in two days. He's gonna make 31. Jesse Marceau clicks it 12. Thou Red Patton, 36, dead three. That's where you gotta get him. Those are the runs throughout the weekend. Derek's made some incredible runs all weekend, but that run right there is where you have to take advantage of him and couldn't do it. 36, dead three, 39 total. Moving on. Coy Collier and Hunter Whitehead now. Coy on the left side, out of Louisiana. Dial 456. Hunter Whitehead, call him Witchfoot. 658 the dial out of Balenton, Alabama. Driving Mitchell Seymour Chevy 2. 
no box shootout winning ride last night. Different driver in the door car. He's going to stage him and immediately put it on the two step because that's just who he is as a person. I forgot to tell you, he's also going to let go well because he does that. That's who he is as a person. How about? 007, dead eight, 15 total for Hunter Whitehead moving on. Locks out Coy Collier, 31. And 2,000 under seven, dead eight, Hunter Whitehead moving on. We have one more pair sitting back there hanging out, ready to make a shot down the racetrack. So there is a lifted white GMC behind the tower. And if you drove that here today, you might want to go move it because Johnny's patience is getting pretty thin. A lifted white GMC parked behind the tower. If that is yours, I would just move it. Plenty of places to park, just not that one. And look, it worked out. He's moving it now. Perfect.
One final pair for the million dollar drag race round number five. Ty Farmer left side, Tuscola, Texas. Dialed 482, looks over and sees Rick Huffman, the accelerated graphics and signs, chasing dad racing. Chevette, they call it Smalls. Dialed 620 out of Waxahachie. Great, I just could say Waxahachie over and over again. It's a great, great town to say. Huffman is away, double O nine. It has four foul in his pocket. Win light Huffman, nine and stops. Double O nine gets behind 33 thou. Farmer 13 take 33 to be seven thou under Rick Huffman taking smalls to a round number next. Junior Dragster semi-final. Rolling through the water box now. $1,000 on the line. These two have already had buy runs. Kendall Stevenson sitting in the car, strapped in at the ready line. He knows he's getting a stress-free ride into the final round. Douglas Hughes left side, Dougie Fresh out 8.07 out of Pasadena, Texas. And Jace Eno, they call him Stump Man. Bell Rose, Louisiana native right side out 8.32. Fifteen foul separate him on the starting line. Advantage, Hughes, win light, Hughes, 47, take eight to win a double breakout race. Eno, 62, and 33 thou under. Douglas Hughes headed to the final round. Kendall Stevenson, left-hand side, Bastard, Louisiana, 890. Going to square off with Douglas Hughes in the final round.
Kendall Stevenson not going to have lane choice. 084 and 15 thou wonder are going to move on. At this time, I need Charlie Lockhart and six top ball cars to the lanes. Charlie is holding the bye. The round of seven needs you to the lanes. The bottom one. We are missing one car.
Hunter Wyatt, I know you're parked turn 12 of the circle track or the round track or road course, but we uh, need you to the lanes, please. I'm 0% surprised that's who we're waiting on, if anybody's wondering. Fuel Tech round number seven. There is seven cars remaining. We've got six of them up here. Junior Dragster final. Just cool them and fuel them, and let's get that over with. As soon as you guys are cooled off enough, Hunter Whitehead's driving away on a golf cart. We, uh, okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah, Hunter's like, I know my limits. I'm going to tag Mitchell in. He, he can finish it.
Fuel Tech, round at number seven, pair number one, Derek Patton, left side, get tossed out of the right side. Dial 673 in the left lane. Tristan Scholler, right side. Gonzalez, Louisiana native, dial 484. Ten thou separate them. Win light Patton. Double O eight. Take four thou to be two above shoulder eighteen and one above seven. To be four thou behind Derek Patton to the semifinal. Is that the last direction? No, Dr. B's right there. Glenn Dilday. Out of Missouri, the only guy still standing available to claim the Yankee bonus, about 532 left side. 
Hunter Whitehead right side. We were well, waiting on him to get to the staging lanes for round seven. Changed front wheels on the Seymour ride. Not sure what happened. He's down 658. Should have left a taller wheel on it. Whitehead three thou red. Dilde five red behind him and four above. Wide open. That one's gonna hurt. That one stings. Dr. B left side, 482, Rick Huffman. Driving Smalls right side, 622. Glenn Dilde punching his ticket to the semifinal. Dragster's last hope, sitting on the starting line left side for Dr. B. She is 11 and 11 at thou behind Rick Huffman was triple zero. Perfect, takes 41 to be 14 thou under Dr. B 11 and one above dodges a bullet. Huffman perfect and no good. House car to the semifinals. Isn't that right, Johnny? Johnny's like, no, don't say that. No, I did watch Brittany come up and actually pay an entry fee. That's the cool part about these Flickr Pro races is Wyatt paid one, Brittany paid one. Wyatt paid two. Charlie Lockhart, the buy truck. Stress-free ride to round number four, or round of four. Fuel Tech, round seven in the books. Charlie, 17 thou red, clicks it. Dialed for it. 610 on a 605. Charlie will come back around to the semifinal. Easton says, give me it, I'm doing the junior final myself. All right, take it away, Easton. your last pair of junior dragsters. Left-hand side, we have Douglas Hughes. The 790 car dialed 806. Taking on Kendall Stevenson, dialed 887. Tree falls and Bubba, or Kendall, sorry, Kendall, it says Bubba on the screen here. They got me messed up. Kendall is nasty. 021, take 19, put it 7 thou under, turns on the final wind light of the main race. Douglas Hughes, 058 and 2 hun under. To be nice.
we drive Sport Compact. Designed for the elite and the garage build. Information is power. Because data is the difference between winning and losing. We give you the options, versatility, and power to come out on top. Complacent isn't in our vocabulary. We drive you. And that's why Fuel Tech is everywhere. Larice Motorsports Insurance, four generations in the insurance business and over 30 years in motorsports, offering package policy for all your valuable racing equipment, on the road or at the track. Be a winner with Larice Motorsports Insurance. Go to Facebook today. Get a quote from Larice Motorsports Insurance. Welding, pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. Semi-final, we'll take you to the lane. Semi-final, we need you to the lanes. We've got one. We'll take the rest of you. Semi-final round. $25,000 Saturday. Needs you to the staging lanes, please.
So this is Fuel Tech round number seven. My apologies, that's what I get for coming in through halfway through the race. We just completed Drag Race Solutions round number six. This is Fuel Tech round seven. Dr. B, we need you to the lanes, please. Brittany Lejeune to the lanes, please. We have three. We need one more. And that'd be you. So, see Mia, so maybe that means she's you know, maybe on her way. We are missing Dr. B. Fuel Tech round number seven.
Semi-final round, $25,000 Saturday, Fuel Tech. Round seven, Derek Patton, left side. Out of Texas, dial 674. And Dr. B, Brittany Lejeune, right side. What is that, Maragon? Maragon, all right, I was close. I figured out most Louisiana names and towns and cities, just like talk like there's peanut butter in your mouth. It gets you really close. 482 right side for Dr. B. Winner goes to the final. Five thou separate a win a light Derek Patton by one thou fifteen dead on four turns on the wind light Brittany ten dead nine and a thou behind Derek Patton moves on all door car final round coming right up um, Motor Mania is gonna love that that's that's really we're here for the Motor Maniacs. Charlie Lockhart left side, 568, swapping feet in Trusty. Glenn Dilday right side, out of Missouri, the only guy still eligible for the Yankee bonus, down 532. He wins the event. Gleghorn owes him $2,500 more. Fourteen thou separate them. Win a light dill day. Eighteen take six to be one above. And Ryan Gleghorn's wallet starting to cry. Charlie, let it get by him just a little bit. Thirty-two dead nine, and six thou behind. Glenn Dill day gonna take on Derek Patton for twenty-five thousand dollars here on Saturday.
No box shootout time trial to lanes one and two. No box shootout time trial to lanes one and two. Looks like we've got some top bulb cars up here already. We'll take you guys to seven and eight. No box to one and two. Top bulb to seven and eight. And as soon as our final round gets cooled in fuel, we'll take you guys to three and four. So, gonna let Hodge step aside here as he's gonna go get in his car and try and figure out how to turn a wind light on. Once again, we need the no box shootout to lanes one and two, no box shootout to lanes one and two, as well as the top bulb shootout. Top bulb shootout, we need you to seven and eight. If you would like your time run, everyone gets one. If you are entered into the shootout. So if you are entered in the shootout, either one of them, and you want your time run, we need you to the lanes now, please. Top bulb to seven and eight, no box to one and two. Shootout time runs need you to the lanes. And don't forget, later this evening, after the conclusion of our Gamblers races, TJ Pruitt going to take you through our Winter Circle celebration. So make sure you join us down here in front of the tower for that. And Junior Dragsters, your shootout is on high alert. Junior Dragster shootout on high alert.
Once again, we need all shootout competitors, the no box shootout as well as the top bulb shootout. If you would like to make your time run, we need you to the staging lanes, please. No box shootout to one and two, and top bulb shootout needs you to seven and eight, please. No box and top bulb shootout competitors for your time run need you to the lanes.
Still have a couple spots left in the Junior Dragster Shootout. If you're interested in that, you need to come up to your registration as soon as possible. And they will get you taken care of, and then you can come up with the rest of the class for the Junior Shootout time run. So once again, still have a few spots left available in the Junior Dragster Shootout. If you are wanting to get in that, need you to come up to registration. And then we can get you in with the rest of them for the time run. This is your no box shootout time run session. After that, we will be moving into our top bulb shootout time trial session. So if you are entered in the top bulb shootout and you are not here, we need you up here immediately. Once again, if you're entered in the top bulb shootout and you are not up here for your time run and you would like to make your time run, Probably best bet is to get on up here to schedule lane seven and eight.
Just a few pairs left for our top ball of shootout time runs. Got about six pairs or so left. And then it will be time to crown a $25,000 champion here on Mosier Engineering and Rick's Powder Coating Saturday. Our two finalists, Derek Patton out of Texas and Glenn Dilday coming all the way down from Sibley, Missouri, which I can't let Ryan Gleghorn forget that Sibley, Missouri is above the Mason-Dixon line, which does technically make Glenn Dilday a damn Yankee. And Ryan Gleghorn's pocketbook is in tears right now. At this time, I need the Junior Dragster Shootout competitors. Junior Dragster Shootout competitors, need you to lanes seven and eight, please. Junior Dragster Shootout competitors, we will take you now to staging lanes seven and eight for the time run session for the Junior Dragster Shootout. So once again, Junior Dragster Shootout, if you are entered and you want to make your time run, please bring it on up to lanes seven and eight for your time run that will be held after the conclusion of the main event final. Junior Dragster time run for the Junior Dragster shootout. We need you to stay to lanes seven and eight, please.
So that was your final time run of the top bulb shootout. And with that, we are now ready to crown a $25,000 champion here on Mosier Engineering and Rick's Powder Coating Saturday. Battle of the Door Cars. A Texan versus a Yankee. The MVP of the weekend in the left-hand side, Derek Patton, out of Texas, dialed 673. And Glenn, funny car burnout, Dilday, right-hand side. The Yankee coming all the way down from Sibley, Missouri, dialed 530. Two. And Ryan Gleghorn is standing next to me, and he looks like a wreck. Dilde wins here. Not only is he picking up the $25,000 big check, but he is picking up a $2,500 bonus straight out of Ryan Gleghorn's pocket. So who will it be? Team Texas? First Team Yankee. Texas is all over this one. Win light, Derek Patton. <laughs> Oh, 11, dead seven, 18 total, get their 30. Dilde saw all of it. Comes up 0, 30 and one above and cannot turn on the wind light. So Derek Patton, not only is he clearly the MVP of the weekend, as he has made about 78 runs down the racetrack between the last two days, it seems like. But he is walking out of here with a $25,000 big check. And he is walking out of here $5,000 better than his brother Hunter is. Derek told me a couple of rounds ago that he needed to win because Hunter was running his mouth too much. So the Patton family sweeps the weekend between Hunter winning the Mosier Engineering Friday $20,000 race yesterday and Derek taking home the $25,000 Mosier Engineering and Rick's Powder Coating Saturday title. Reliability, accuracy, and consistency is what goes round and wins races. An all-in-one solution tailored to your application. Walk the pits and you'll begin to see 
Fuel Tech everywhere. Larice Motorsports Insurance, four generations in the insurance business and over 30 years in motorsports, offering package policy for all your valuable racing equipment on the road or at the track. Be a winner with Larice Motorsports Insurance. Go to Facebook today. Get a quote from Larice Motorsports Insurance. At this time, I need the no box shootout. No box shootout, need you to stay in lanes one and two, please. No box shootout, need you to stay in lanes one and two, please. No box shootout, we need you to stay in lanes one and two, please. Jed Landry, car number 227N, you are the wait and see by for round number one of the no box shootout. Jed Landry, 
Car 227N, you are the wait and see by for round one of the no box shootout. Hey, Spencer, you should be smiling after that one. Lyndon was just triple zero. Shout out, Lyndon Bryan. And at this time, I need the top bulb shootout. Top bulb shootout, I will take you to city lane seven and eight, please. Top bulb shootout, I will take you to lane seven and eight. Talon Farmer, car 131B. Talon Farmer, you are the wait and see by for round number one of the top bulb shootout. Talon Farmer, you are the wait and see by for round one of the top bulb shootout. And I need top bulb shootout round one to the city lanes.
Here we go with first round of the no box shootout presented by Fuel Tech. Left hand side, Greg Clark, Comanche, Oklahoma, dialed 625, taking on Nick Curl out of Mount Vernon, Missouri, dialed 575. Eight thou separate them up front, and the wind light is going to go. Nick Curl, 024, and two above, get behind 28 thou at the finish line. Clark, 032, take 28 to be 12 thou under, had to take 16 or less. Your first pair, or your next pair on the starting line, left hand side, Benny Gossett dialed 549. San Angelo, Texas native, taking on David Latino, the Mississippi man. Dialed Wind light gonna go to Gossett. 054, one above four. Get behind 36,000 at the finish line. Latino, 55, take 36 to be 24,000 under the dial. Had to take 12 or less. J.D. McNeil, left side, 675, taking on David Corto, right side, dial 575. Cordo moving on, 019 and three above. McNeil is red and two above, no good. Slate Cummings, left side, 540 the dial, taking on Wyatt E. Zell, right hand side, dialed 593. Pocket, win light, slate, 031 and 7 above, take 17 thou at the finish line. Ezel is 063 and 5 above, no good. Slate Cummings to round two. Jay Landry, right hand side, making a solo shot. 633 on the dial in board, coming out of Prairieville, Louisiana. Landry going to turn on the wind light with the buy run. 075 and one above. So we now move straight into the top bulb shootout. Thirty-two car. Top bulb high roller shootout presented by Fuel Tech. Dylan Rollinson, left side, 509. Last night's $20,000 runner up, taking on Logan Diggs out of Carthage, Missouri. Dialed 609 in the door car. And Rollins is gonna turn on the wind light, 007 and dead on six, 13 total. Take 10 thou at the finish line, digs 10 and one above. 
and yay Gino having issues in the water box they're taking a look at it hopefully we can get it fixed While we have a quick minute here, just want to let everyone know that the bar and grill will be closing at 6.30 tonight. The Lazy Gator bar and grill will be closing at 6.30. So got about 15 minutes left to get in there, get you a drink, or possibly a nice appetizer for the pasta laya we're all gonna enjoy later. So bar and grill closing at 6.30. Eno able to get the car refired. And it appears Eno still having issues, so Lane Como going to get a comp single here. Como dialed 457 in the left hand side. Going to get the solo. As unfortunately, Eno having issues with the car there. He made a lot of really good runs this weekend. Nothing to hang his head on. And Como will go dead seven. 457.7 on the 457 dial. Your next pair, left-hand side, Ty Farmer, Tuscola, Texas, 483. Taking on Chris Culkins, right side, St. Clair, Missouri, dialed 545. Four foul, separate them. Culkins, all sorts out of shape. And Farmer going to get an easy one there. 038 and 13 above. Calkins 34, but made a hard move towards the wall and toast on down. We'll race another day. Eric Sandlin left side. Burleson, Texas, 616. Taking on Brian Kennedy out of Odessa, Texas. Right hand side. The Corvette Roadster dialed 490.
And Kennedy 010 and moving on as Sandlin flickers himself out of the beams. Kennedy will put it one above 491 on the 490. Hunter Patton left side, Honey Wayne dialed 451, taking on Mario Gonzalez right side, dialed 454. Honey, the Texan turned Yankee, taking on Mario out of Richmond, Texas. Honey, of course, was last night's $20,000 Mosier Engineering Friday champion. Trying to see if he can match brother Derek for the values on the check. If he can win this 5K to win Fuel Tech 32 car top bulb shootout here tonight. Two foul separate them. Win Y Hunter Patton, double O nine, take double O three to be one above with a three. Gonzalez is double O seven and one above nine to come up three foul behind. Hunter Patton to round two. Bruce White left side, 624. We're taking on Donnie Burleson. Right hand side, dialed 448. Donnie won last night's 32 car top bulb shootout. Trying to repeat tonight. He is in trouble here. Bruce White in control. Bruce White with the win light. 0 20 and two above. Take 21 thousand finish line. Burleson missed it and puts it three above. No good. Coy Collier left side. 458. Taking on Turbo Ty Casey. Van Vleck, Texas native. Dialed 470 in the right hand side. Turbo needed a set of brake pads earlier. Appears he found some. I told him it's because he just stops too much. Got to commit to start taking if he wants to go through brake pads less often. Four foul separate him up front. And he stopped again but not gonna turn on the wind light. Coy Collier, 023 and two above, match the stop. Oof. Take nine thou at the finish line. Casey's 027 and two above, no good. Corey Galitti left side, 430 the dial. Taking on the motorcycle right hand side, driver not on file, dialed 556. Glitty with the advantage. And Glitty with a wind line, 013, and two above, take a thou at the finish line, 13, take one. Move into round number two. Motorcycle 028 and dead nine, no good. Bubba Stevenson left side, 467, taking on Travis Barnett, right side. The fastest door car on property dialed 479. Only getting spotted 1200s from the dragster. And a win line gonna go to Barnett, 006 and one above. Stevenson is red and shuts it off early. Left side, Josh Decker dialed 625, Germantown, Ohio, the Yankee. Taking on 
Ronald Gabriel from about 30 minutes down the road in Gonzalez, Louisiana. Dialed 625. Probably the two guys that drove the furthest distance and the shortest distance to get here. Line it up round one. Decker in control. Decker with a wind light, 002 and four above. Gabriel is 029 and two above, no good. Your Saturday main event champion on the starting line, left hand side, Derek Patton. Dialed 673, taking on Austin Free, Lil Drag Champ, right side, dialed 480. They basically rewired the entire car here at the racetrack. Had a bolt come loose, and somehow the grid exited stage left. And he was dragging the grid behind him. Had to do some rewiring. Old dad got him all fixed up. And here he is staging up for round number one of the shootout. One foul to separate them. Win light. Austin free. Double O seven and two above. Take 13 thou at the finish line. Patton is double O eight and three above on the set down. No good. So Derek Patton will not sweep the day. Austin free moving on to round two. Left-hand side, Shaky Jake Hodge, 444 the dial, taking on Jordan Amper Jesse, right side dialed, 431. Seventh thou under. Hodge is red and seventeen thou under. Bowie Compton left side four seventy four taking on Caden Smith right side. Dialed four seventy eight. Caden Smith moving on, 018, and three above. Compton is red, and a bunch over. Kyle Cunningham, left side, 480 the dial, taking on Nate Dog. Nathan Martin, right side, dial 454.
one, ten foul under. Nate Dog is double O two red and two foul under. Spencer Massey left side, 472, taking on Nick Curl, right side dialed 573. with a win line, 013, dead 720 total. Get their 13 thou. Massey, 027, and dead on six, no good. Slate Cummins, left side, 431, taking on Talon Farmer, right side, dialed 470. This is your final pair of the Fuel Tech Top Bulb Shootout round number one. At this time, I will take Junior Dragster, Junior Dragster, shootout round number one, Junior Dragster, shootout round number one, to stay in lane seven and eight, please. Junior Dragster, shootout round one. We need you to the staging lanes, please. Staging lane seven and eight. Talon Farmer with a win light. O38 and three above as Slate missed it and puts it three above, no good. We drive Sport Compact. Designed for the elite and the garage build. Information is power. Because data is the difference between winning and losing. We give you the options, versatility, and power to come out on top. Complacent isn't in our vocabulary. We drive you, and that's why Fuel Tech is everywhere. Junior Dragster Shootout, we will take you to lanes seven and eight, please. Junior Dragster Shootout, round one, we will take you to state lanes seven and eight, please. Jace Eno, you are on the wait and see bye.
Final call, absolute last and final call for a junior dragster shootout. Last and final call for a junior dragster shootout. Should have Tenny is here. Junior shootout, we need you to the lanes, please.
first round of the Burleson Construction Junior Dragster Shootout. Left hand side, Douglas Hughes, 805 the dial in, taking on Hutch Harger, right side, out at 1186. Hutch is all over this one. Winlight Hutch Harger, 022 and 9 above, take 30 at the finish line. Hughes missed it, puts it 3 above, no good. Hutch Harger to round two. Bubba Stevenson, left hand side. Actually, I'm being told this is Kendall Stevenson. Left hand side dialed 898. Taking on Easton Hodge, right side dialed 876. Thirteen thou separate them up front when light says. Easton, 50, dead five, 55 total. Get behind 29 thou at the finish line, made the good decision to bail out there. As Stevenson is 37 and 11 thou under. Had to take 18 or less. So, Jake, you should be proud of Easton there. He made the right decision to get behind. Mia Meadows, left side, 893 the dial, taking on Lyndon Bryan, right side, dialed 1190. Meadows with the advantage. And the win light, 026 and four above is Brian, 064 and a whole bunch over. Tory Barnett left side, 798, taking on Carson Graham, right side dialed 920. Carson Graham in control. And Carson Graham with a win line, 051 and six above. Barnett is late and one above, no good. Brody Cummins left side, 895, taking on Jace Eno, right side dialed 836. At this time, I will take the no box shootout. No box shootout round number two. No box shootout round two. I will take you to City Lanes one and two, please. David Corto, leave the motorcycle, bike 54. 
you are on the wait and see by for round two of the no box shootout. So once again, I need the fuel tech no box shootout. Round number two to the staging lanes. David Cordo, you are on the wait and see by no box shootout round two. We need you back up to the lanes, please. Staging lanes one and two. JC no moving on, 091 and four under is Cummings is red and dead zero. And once again, we need the no box shootout round two back to the stadium lanes, please. Slate, I promise we won't run without you. I know you got to get back and get the car. So once again, no box. We drive tech. We drive the industry. Going beyond the limits and advancing forward. A versatile all-in-one solution. We're here for you every step of the way. And that's why you see fuel tech everywhere. At this time, I will also take the top bulb shootout. Top bulb shootout, round number two. Top bulb shootout, round two. We will take you back to lane seven and eight, please. Talon Farmer, you are still on the way and see by. Talon Farmer, 131B, you are still on the way and see by. Top bulb shootout, need you back to lane seven and eight, please. Top bulb shootout, need you back.
first pair of the Fuel Tech No Box Shootout. Round number two in the water box. Left hand side. Going to be Benny Gossett. 549 the dial in in the Roadster. Right hand side, Jay Landry out of Prairieville, Louisiana, dialed 633. Wind light going to go to Landry 033 and one above six. Take 002 at the finish line. Gossett 011 and get behind to be four above. No good. Slate Cummins left side, 541 the dial. Taking on at Nick Curl right side dialed 577. Wind light slate, 004 and one above one. Get there a bunch. Curl 38 and stops to be three above. No good. Went 580 at 109. That is impressive. So, Nick Curl, you win the maximum effort award for the weekend for sure. David Cordo, right side on the buy run. 577 the dial. Oh, 018 and 579 on the 577. David Cordo to the semifinals of the Fuel Tech No Box Shootout. Going to be down. To So with that, we now move into our Fuel Tech Top Bulb Shootout. In the water box. Left hand side, gonna be Hunter Patton, Honey Wayne dialed 451, taking on Jordan. Epper Jesse, right side dialed 432. Hunter Patton in control. And 
Patton with a win light, 0 15, and dead 5, 20 total. Get there a bunch. Ever Jesse missed it and puts it two above. No good. Honey Wayne moves on. Bruce White, left hand side, 624 the dial, taking on Travis Barnett, right side dialed, 480. Bruce White, 021 and two above. Take six thou at the finish line. Barnett is 022 and three above. No good. Josh Decker left side, 625 the dial, taking on Austin Free, little drag champ, right side dialed 482. Austin three in control. Austin with a win line, 009 and two above. Take five at the finish line. Decker missed it, puts it dead two, no good. Austin free moves on to round three. Dylan Rollinson left side, 509, taking on Brian Kennedy right side, dialed 492. And 13 thou under Rollinson is red, and 4 thou under no good. Corey Galitti left side, 433, taking on Caden Smith, right side out, 480. And Galitti moving on, 004 and 16 thou under Smith is red. And 4 thou under no good. Ty Farmer left side, Lane Como right side, win light, gonna go Lane Como 0 11. Get behind two thou. To be dead on three, Farmer 15 take two. To be three thou under, mathematically locked out. And with that, I need Junior Dragster shootout round two. Junior shootout round two. I need you to the stage lanes, please. Junior shootout round two needs you to the stage of lanes. JC and all, you are still on the wait and see bye. JC and all, you are still on the wait and see bye. Junior shootout round two needs you back to the lanes. Kyle Cunningham left side, 480 the dial, taking on Coy Collier, right side dial, 459.
Winlight going to go to Collier, 021. And one above five, take three, foul at the finish line. Cunningham, 25. And one above five, no good. Collier moves on. Got one final pair rolling around the corner now. And that will wrap up round two of the Fuel Tech Top Bulb Shootout. And then we will be moving into our Burleson Construction Junior Dragster Shootout round number two. So once again, we need Junior Shootout back to the lanes. Junior Shootout, need you back to the lane. Should have five of yous coming back. JC and all, you are on the way and see by. Should have five of yous. JC and all, you are on the by. Nick Curl, left side, 575. Going to be taking on Talon Farmer, right side, dialed 471. Winlight going to go to Farmer, who is late. And one thou under curl 004 red and clicks it off early. So that will wrap up round two of our Fuel Tech Top Bulb Shootout. Now turn our attention to the juniors for our round two of the Burleson Construction Junior Dragster Shootout. Final call for the junior shootout. Final call for the junior shootout. Round two, back to the lanes, please. Final call, junior shootout. Need you back to the lanes. We'll also take no box. Down to three. No box, shootout, semifinals. Slate Cummins, you are on the bye. Fuel Tech, no box, shootout, semifinals. We will take you back to the lanes. Slate Cummins, you are on the the bye.
All right, and uh, while we have a little bit of quiet, do not forget the Racer Appreciation Party presented by Larice Motorsports Insurance is alive and well. I've been told the pastelaya is ready. So make sure you come and get you a big plate of that. The Racer Appreciation Party is officially ready. The boatload of beer has been iced down. Beer is nice and cold. And the pastelaya is nice and hot. So make sure you come get you a plate. They've been cooking down there for the last four or five hours now, I believe. And it is officially ready. So make sure you come on down behind the tower to the stage for the Larry Smart Sports Insurance Racer Appreciation Party. Slate Cummins, we need you to the lane. Slate Cummins, we need you back.
At this time, I will now take my top bulb shootout. Top bulb shootout, back to the staging lanes, please. Top bulb shootout, need you back. Top bulb shootout, need you back. Talon Farmer, you are still on the way and see by. Talon Farmer, you are still on the way and see by. Top shootout, need you back. Mia Meadows left side, 893, taking on Carson Graham, right side dial 920. This is your first pair of the Burroughs and Construction Junior Shootout quarterfinals. Meadows with the advantage, and Meadows with a win light. 102, dead five. Get there, 55 thou. Graham missed it and puts it seven thou under. Your next pair, left-hand side, Easton Hodge, 950 the dial. Last round, he rolled up, he had 870 on it. This is not going to sound good. Hutch Harger, right side, dialed 1192. Once again, I need the top bulb shootout. Top bulb shootout, need you back. Top bulb shootout winners, we need you back to the lanes, please. Top shootout winners, we need you back, please. Top shootout, need you to the lanes. And Easton screwed it up. Hutch Harger is 15 and one above to be 21 thou behind Easton. Oh, 21 and seven thou under. Hutch Harger to the semis. And your final car of Burson Construction Junior Shootout making a buy run in the right hand side is Jace Eno, dialed 832.
Run is by Run, Eno 033, and five under the dial in. And that will take us down to the semifinals for the Burleson Construction Junior Shootout. And here we go with your Saturday night Fuel Tech no box shootout. Left hand side, rolling through the water box. It's gonna be Jay Landry in the door car. Dialed 633, taking on the motorcycle of David Cordo. Right hand side, dialed 579. Cordo in control, Landry is in trouble, win light. David Cordo, 022 and two above, take a bunch. Landry is late and a bunch over, no good. And your by run at three, Slate Cummings, left side, 541 the dial in. Slate 019 and clicks it off early. He goes 560 on the 541. And your final is set. Going to be David Cordo taking on Slate Cummins. We'll have Lane Choice in the final. Last and final call for the top bulb shootout. I believe all of you are here. But just in case we have any stragglers out there, last and final call for the top bulb shootout. Round number three, to the lanes, please. Top shootout. If you're not here, you're late, and we need you. We drive people. We drive bracket racing. Because reliability, accuracy, and consistency is what goes round and wins races. An all-in-one solution tailored to your application. Walk the pits and you'll begin to see fuel tech everywhere.
Welding, pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. And here we go with the top bulb shootout quarter final round. Corey Galitti left side, 433. Taking on Lane Nicomo right side out of the 458. Corey in control. Corey with a win light, 018. And two above, take 10 thou at the finish line. Como, 046. And dead six, no good. Corey Galitti to the semifinal. Bruce White, left side, 626 the dial. Taking on Brian Kennedy, right side, dialed 491. Junior Drags, your shootout semis. I will take you to the lanes, please. Junior shootout semis, I will take you to the lanes, please. Hutch Harger, you are on the wait and see by. Hutch Harger, you are on the wait and see by. Junior shootout. Need you to the lanes, please. Bruce White in control. Wind light goes. Bruce White, 015, dead 9, 24 total. Kennedy is 034, one above five. No good. Bruce White to the round of four. Coy Collier, left side, 459, taking on Austin Free, right side, held 483.
16 thou separate them. Win lie Austin free 022 and two above to get there to thou. Collier 006 and gives it back to be three above. Austin free down to four. And Gary, I guess you must have did a good job on the rewire in the car there. Down to the semifinal. Your final pair of the quarterfinals. Hunter Patton left side, Honey Wayne dialed 451, taking on Talon Farmer right side, dialed 470. Gave him the long stomps, puts it five above, take 27 thou at the finish line. Farmer missed it bad and puts it one above, no good. Final, we will take you to the lanes as well. No box shootout final. You guys can make your way on up to lanes one and two as well, please.
Once again, no box final, need you back. No box final, need you back. We will also take the top bulb semis. Top bulb semis, we will take you now well, as well, please. Need the no box final to one and two. Top bulb final, top bulb semifinals to seven and eight, please. Need the no box final and the top bulb semis to the lanes, please.
Junior Dragster semi-final round. Left-hand side, Mia Meadows, dialed 892. Taking on Jace Eno, right side, dialed 827. Eno in control. Win light, Jace Eno, 041 and a bunch above. Meadows missed it and cannot cover the number. And Jace Eno to the final. Hutch Harger, right hand side. 11.93, making a solo shot into the final. Knows he will race Jace Eno. All he's racing for now is lane choice. And Hutch Harger is 040 and will choose his lane in the final. Eleven ninety with a seven on the eleven ninety three dial. Hutch Harger will pick his lane over Jace Eno in the Junior Dragster final. We drive Sport Compact, designed for the elite and the garage build. Information is power because data is the difference between winning and losing. We give you the options, versatility, and power to come out on top. Complacent isn't in our vocabulary. We drive you, and that's why Fuel Tech is everywhere. My final, mission two. Top bulb semis need you here now, please. Austin Free, need you back. Austin Free, need you back.
Here we go with your no box final. The Fuel Tech no box shootout. Final round on the starting line. Left hand side, Slate Cummings. Dialed 540 in the door car, taking on David Cordo. Right hand side, dialed 579 on the motorcycle. Cordo rolled in here this evening just to run the shootout. Was not able to get here this morning for the main event said, I want to run the shootout, and here he finds himself in the final, staging up with no slouch, Slate Cummins. Thirteen thou separate him up front, win light says, Slate Cummins, 035, dead six, 41 total to get there, one, Bow. Cordo, 0 22. Had the advantage up front and puts it two above to come up one foul behind. So, congrats. Slate Cummins, your Saturday night Fuel Tech No Box shootout winner. And once again, don't forget TJ Pruitt going to take you through our winner's circle celebration after the conclusion of our last final of the night, which will be the top bulb shootout. So once all finals have been ran, we will take all of our winners back up to the tower for the winner circle celebration. And once again, don't forget, the racer appreciation party is going on behind the tower. At the stage, they have a whole great big pot of postulai already, and we have a whole big boat that's full of ice cold free. As we rolling around the corner with the top bulb shootout semifinals, don't forget that with this being the first of three events, 
that Flickr Promotions will be holding this year. We also have our 2024 points series, where the overall points champion at the conclusion of all three events at the end of the year is going to get a brand new Ezel race car stage one dragster chassis. Second in points is going to get a set of Stainless Works Dragster headers. Third is going to get a custom 40 spline aluminum center section from Mosher Engineering. Fourth, going to be a Get'em Performance Carburetor. Fifth place, getting an FTD Customs set of front wheels. Sixth place, getting a set of RBZ Billet set of front wheels. Seventh place, going to get a $1,500 gift certificate to Fuel Factory. That should buy a couple of drums. Seventh, eighth place, I'm sorry. Eighth place, going to get a brand new torque converter from Abruzzi Transmissions. Ninth place, a K&R Performance Engineering Delay Box and Switch Panel Kit. And tenth place, Going to get a competitive suspension set of shocks. And we have a whole bunch more prizes that I will go over momentarily for 11th through 20th. So the top 20 in points are not going to walk away empty-handed. But the big one, of course, being the 2024 Ezel race car stage one chassis for the overall points champion. And here we go with your top bulb shootout presented by Fuel Tech semi final round. Hunter Patton, left side, 451, taking on Austin Free, right side, 485. Little drag champ, taking on Honey Wayne. Honey trying to double up on the weekend, was your Mosher Engineering Friday main event champion. Trying to match Brother Derek for the value on the big check. Trying to add an extra 5000 on top of the 20000 he won yesterday. Patton 022 take get behind to thou to be 17 thou above Austin missed it and puts it nine thou under no good Hunter Patton to the final Left hand side now, Bruce White, 626 the dial in the door car, taking on Corey Galitti, right side, dialed 433. Galitti has him all wrapped up. Win light, Corey Galitti, 001, one above seven, take 12 at the finish line. White, 020 in, one above, no good. So Corey Galitti will square off with Hunter Patton in what should be our final final of the night. We drive tech. We drive the industry. Going beyond the limits and advancing forward. A versatile all-in-one solution. We're here for you every step of the way. And that's why you see Fuel Tech everywhere.
Welding, pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. At this time, I will take the Junior Dragster Final. Junior Dragster Final. Need you to the stadium lanes, please. Junior Dragster Final. Need you back. Hutch Harger, you have lane choice over Jay Senal. Junior Final, we need you back. Top up shootout final, Corey Galitti and Hunter Patton. Whenever you guys can cool them, fuel them, and bring them back up, we would much appreciate that. Top up shootout, whenever you guys can get them back up here, we need you back as well. Corey Galitti, you have lane choice over Hunter.
Fuel Tech Top Bulb Shootout Final. Need you back. Fuel Tech Top Bulb Shootout Final. Need you back. Corey Galitti, you have lane choice. Fuel Tech Top Bulb Shootout. Need you back. something but now i'm left with an empty heart no making amends no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all how could i know there was no second chances like dominoes my love got really scattered couldn't keep the door shut and now the frostbite's creeping in cause i've been so since you left me here to come home Why won't you reappear? Things that I said came out totally wrong Can't speak up the truth when it's tainted I fell into a big black hole It got me stone cold
your junior dragster shootout presented by Burleson Construction. Final on the starting line. Left hand side, Jace Eno. 8.27 the dial. Taking on the little man, Hutch Marger. Right side, 11.90 dial in. Gonna be getting over three and a half seconds and Eno's gonna try and chase him down. gets their 30 to be nine thou under. Hutch Harger, your Burleson Construction Junior Dragster Shootout winner. Your final final of the weekend. Here we go. Rolling through the water box. I wonder if we're competing for longest burnout here. Test. Left hand side, Honey Wayne dialed 451. Taking on Corey Galitti. Right side dialed 433. Both of them sitting there flickering the ball on and off, back and forth. It's like they're sending Morse code. Puts it one above four to come up four thou short. Corey Galitti, your final winner of the weekend here at the 11th Annual Southern Big Bucks Nationals. Make sure you join us in front of the tower for our winner circle celebration as TJ Pruitt will take us through the remainder of this evening's festivities.
Larice Motorsports Insurance, four generations in the insurance business and over 30 years in motorsports, offering package policy for all your valuable racing equipment, on the road or at the track. Be a winner with Larice Motorsports Insurance. Go to Facebook today. Get a quote from Larice Motorsports Insurance. We drive people. We drive bracket racing. Because reliability, accuracy, and consistency is what goes round and wins races. An all-in-one solution tailored to your application. Walk the pits and you'll begin to see fuel tech everywhere. Test, test. Testing, one, two, three. All right, test, test, one, two, three. If you missed a pasta I feel bad for you. One, two, three. All right, so here we go. Our first winner circle interview of tonight. I've been waiting on this one for a while. So we finally get to see who's got the biggest arms in drag racing. It's either Slate Cummins or TJ Pruitt. What do y'all think? Who's got the bigger arms, Slate or TJ Pruitt? Slate. <laughs> oh, I lost that one. All right, so here we go. Tonight's first winner, no stranger to the winner circle. I have literally snuck at Gulfport and watched him hit the bottom, and it is incredible. He is a machine on the bottom. I know a lot of you don't see him running on, off the bottom. But Slate, you're staged against a motorcycle who is absolutely murdering the tree, and you take home the win tonight. It's got to be feel good to kick off the year with with a win. Yeah, it, it, just to start the year off, you make a little money. You, you know, if you come here and you pay your tab off, you've done a great job to start off with. So we had some little luck yesterday, made a little money. And then we come in today, win this race. It pays, you know, we, we're above the tab, so we're doing good. <laughs> there, <there's, laughs> oh, he said his first hit off the bottom was 002. I know he's watching. So there's very few racers that are out here that are hitting two separate cars off the bottom and the top. I understand you're in the winner circle for bottom bub, but you also were rolling pretty good, I would say, on the top side. Yeah, I was on the top side. You know, driver makes mistakes. I should have trusted my car. I give it back. You know, that's just part of racing. You got to do what you can to do to win, but everything's so tight out here. You got to make it. You, everything's got to be triple zero out here. You got you to gotta shoot for the gun. If you give it back, you give it back. It's, it's part of racing. All right, I got a couple more questions, and I'll let you go. So one thing I've always respected about the Cummins since I met you guys a few years ago, number one, you always took me in like I was family, but this has always been a family sport. I've never seen y'all out at the racetrack without it being a family sport. I mean, that just seems to be part of the Cummins family. 
That's what we are. We true and true and proud family. We always have been. And I hate to I'll put you on the spot right now because I know you got a lot of sponsors. So who would you like to thank standing here in the winter circle right now live on Motor Mania TV? By the way, thanks, Mark. Great job this weekend with the feed. But who you want to thank well, to make this happen? Number one's Mosier. I mean, they've been aboard us for like 15 years now. Mosier's been their their family. Like once again, their family. So we've had a uh, we've had a great ride, and they continue to sponsor me. They like what I do. Uh, Mosier's Mosier number one. Mickey Thompson tires. You know they give me with the good slicks. We went and tire tested with them. They they give me on these good these good uh, what you call tire testers. <laughs> <laughs> FTI transmissions converters. Um, that's about it. Well, I would say this is definitely a good representation of your sponsors here. And this, I can promise you this won't be the last time we've seen Slate Cummins in the winter circle. I know you had a big one at the end of the year in Gulfport. So keep it rolling. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, you're no box. Saturday shootout winner, Slate Cummins. Let's give it up. All right, let's get in here. Fuel Tech. All right, thanks again, Slate. One thing I forgot to mention, Fuel Tech on board this weekend. Thanks, Fuel Tech. Those guys at Fuel Tech. I am snatching out all the ele old electronics out of my car and going to fuel tech, by the way. So thank those guys. So I hear the racer appreciation. We don't have any pasalaya, but we got plenty of beer.
All right, our next champion, Kendall Stevenson, coming on up. Oh, yeah, you're going to get interviewed, so I see that face. Ah, dreading it. That is the downside of winning a big race. You get an interview. All right, so we are here with Kendall Stevenson. Go ahead and now, I'm going to go ahead and say this, right? I know your papa, Bubba, right? Yeah. So it runs in your blood. You were absolutely killing it this weekend. Come out, Junior Drags Race only on this Saturday. Very, very proud of you. Came out swinging. Beat some heavy hitters there. It's got to feel good right now. All right, so you got some people you got to want to thank, though, right? My dad. And she said her dad, huh? Well, I'm going to ask you one more, a couple more questions here. So, Kendall, you come in the final round. Were you nervous at all? How did it feel when you crossed the finish line? Mm -mm. <laughs> she said, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> well, congratulations, Kendall. Definitely, like I said before, this runs in your family, so it's no surprise that you're standing here in the winner's circle. Bright future ahead. Congratulations, you're here in the, f the Burleson Construction Junior Dragster event and the shootout, and you won it all. So congratulations. This is a good start to the year, and I wish you the best. So congratulations, everyone. Please give it up for Kendall Stevenson. First race in the car, brand new car. Got the right name on it, yeah. American Race Cars. It's a good choice. Now, Kendall, you keep on turning these wind lights on now. You're going to learn how to do this, all right? All right, come on, who's next? Bring them on up. Who is next? I see Corey come on up. Corey, where's your crew at? Everybody ditch you? <laughs> he said he doesn't have a crew. He's got his dog. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this man needs no introduction. Mr. Corey Galetti. Corey, every single time, whether I'm at the racetrack with you or not, it makes me smile to see how well you've really done in the sport of drag racing, man. You have winners that come and go every year, racers that get on streaks. 
but you just continue to pr just to continue to prove your performance on and off the track. You represent your well self well on the track and off. It's got to feel good to just kick off the year with a big win here in the shootout against one of the best in drag racing. Man, it does feel really good, but I got to say I'm very blessed just for the opportunity because um, there's not a lot to get to do it like me, and I'm very thankful for that. And I got a lot of good people in my corner, a lot of people that help me out and keep this train rolling week in and week out. So, again, very thankful and very blessed. And get a little worried there because we had us a rough weekend until that shootout, so I'm glad we were able to salvage that. Was it the car's fault or was it just you struggling all weekend? I have 110% my fault because this thing was really good and so was the truck. And I finally got my head out of my rear end and made something happen. So It's interesting you say you have a lot of people to help you out. And I think I first thing when I saw you at the racetrack when I approached you was I told you great job on thanking your sponsor. I said, I don't know what everyone's doing to Corey. I don't know what they're doing to Corey, but you're turning Corey into a professional racer. He has sponsors, he's making sponsor posts. Well deserved, because you no one deserves it more than you. With that being said, who do you want to thank? You mentioned earlier that you couldn't have done it without your sponsors, so go ahead and give them an opportunity for you to uh, thank those sponsors. Absolutely. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank God, because without him, none of this would be possible. Um, I'd like to thank Rad Torque Systems, Torque Tools, my mom, my dad. Um, Fuel Factory just came on board with me for the year, and thankful for them um, god there's so many more <laughs> wilson racing engines uh bruzy transmissions and converters um man get them performance they hooked me up with uh they hooked me up with the carburetors uh apd because this new 16 degree deal is it's bad and they've helped me out with that um yeah i could sit here and read the whole car but man y'all see it it's wilson racing engines again uh, actually, he, d he did thank you actually hunter because i mean he hooked me up when i was in a bind and needed this thing rewired and got to thank him for that too so sure there's some sure there's some i'm forgetting too but they know who they are just you <laughs> well man i'm really proud of you awesome job awesome job representing your sponsors in this interview and also on the racetrack you really really prove yourself i remember the first time i met you at the million dollar drag race when you uh, yeah. crashed. <laughs> yeah, when you crashed. I actually saw that car at Ezel's house when I rolled up. I was dropping my car off, and I said, Johnny, am I at the right place? I see Corey's crash car, and I said, yep, at the right plot spot. So no champagne here. One more question. I'm let, I, I've got to ask an important question before I let him go. How did it feel to be double? Hey, listen up, guys. How did it feel to be double O on the tree and chase Honey Wayne down like that. When you're four, how did it feel? Did you say, oh my God, it's his beep? <laughs> well, I'll be honest, it, I, I feel like I made a mistake all week long because I've been running the left lane and I wouldn't get out of it. And my last two runs, I'm making the right and I'm one, I roll three in and I'm four. And I, I, I don't know. And really I was down there just screwing it up because the car slowed up on me and I was going dead on on the floor. And thankfully I just got there fourth out. So, but it looked good on paper, so I mean. <laughs> However that works. <laughs> oh, and the whole time I'm bragging on you, oh, he's four, take four. No, you four got there four. Absolutely. I mean, this takes more luck than skill I have any day of the week. I don't care what nobody says, so I'm not going to sit here and beat my chest and, yeah, I was four, take four on Honey Wayne, but on paper it looked that way. Well, one thing I've always appreciated about you, no matter how well you've done, you've always stayed humble, and I think that's one of the most important things in drag racing, and I feel like the kids coming up should take note of that, always staying humble. So... Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your Saturday night shootout winner, Corey Galetti. Give it up.
Hey, Mark, you didn't get me falling on the ground, did you, on camera? Do not play that on Motor Mania TV, or I'm going to put everybody's jail records on drag coverage. <laughs> Oh no, that's gonna be on Double O Shit Show. <laughs> Ty Casey, see me after this, please. <laughs> I just wanna shake your hand. The Harger name is definitely no stranger to the winner circle. I have, he said, don't say that. Not recent winner circle, huh? <laughs> the Harger just definitely no uh, stranger to the winner circle. I had the pleasure of watching him race at Gulfport Dragway. He's done a phenomenal job, killing the tree. Awesome job. It's got to feel good. You come out winning today's race. How does that feel? Good. <laughs> you say it's good, huh? So you come out swinging, you feel like you got one of the best teachers that are out there, or how's that feel? Good. <laughs> so you roll up in the final round, and there's a lot of people watching on Motor Mania TV. There's a lot of people watching you on the sidelines. Were you nervous at all? No. I say that's got to be one of the best things I've noticed about him. He doesn't get nervous at all. So do you ever get nervous in any final round or any round at all? No. No. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you congratulations on your win. You got a big future ahead. I've watched you race. And uh, is there anybody you want to thank for this win? My sponsors, uh, Kahili Performance, BMC Mach uh, Machine and Welding. This is Dragon Racing Junior, SNS Motorsports. Rick's Powder Coating, and Capel's Motorsports. Y'all, give him a round of applause. Thank you to the sponsors. Woohoo! Well, congratulations again. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up, Mr. Harger himself. Congratulations. Give it up.
All right, Mark, is this where I say close it? We have anybody else? Oh, the man himself. Got one more. MVP of the weekend. Do we have anybody else? The MVP himself coming up.